What's up, Pawn Nation? I've had a lot of comments on my rumble about women lately. At first I thought they were from women and almost threw my phone away, but the Matrix isn't coming to cancel me today. Are you tired of soy boy cuck maxers like Wheat Waffles trying to give weak dating strats? Are you sick of coming across like a completely checked out robot to pick up girls? Are you done with failing to lock in a date after speaking to a thousand women only to have eight agree to meet you and none actually do? What you need is my dating course, the Wiz Riz strategy with my co-host Chadbug. We'll break down this loser's ineffective methodology and get women to believe you're a functioning normie. All you have to do is three simple steps to join my course. Watch this video to the end, like this video, and subscribe. Together we can be men, hanging out, possibly naked. Women? Why would they be there? Have you ever spoken to one? I guess we'll help you anyway. You'll be able to take them back to your deep underground bunker in just five sessions with our help. Pond Nation out. This is a very handsome fella, dude. Uh, oh, just you wait, because he's, I'm pretty sure as part of this video, he, he, uh, he's probably, this, oh, this is a guy, you, by the I'm, way, I'm locking in a backstory, right? This is my, my locked in backstory, bullied okay. for being ginger in high school. I, 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 yes, I guarantee it. Not only that, I think, um, his whole deal is I think is he was that, chubby as well, chubby ginger guy. Well, he gets school. men, this guy gets men to pay him for Ooh? him to rate oh. their faces. <laughs> he literally I'll rate his face dude I'll for rate free I'll face. rate your face for it's free you motherfucker dude. it's not it's not up there well uh, actually he's about to I think he's about to mock you let's have a look hey guys welcome to the video I've got something very very special for you today for the past seven days I've been swiping and messaging on tinder non-stop also I could see <sighs> how many dates I could get as an average guy I want you to know that this is already at 1.5 times speed did you notice Yep. Uh, another thing I'll say as well, number one L, the guy's from Birmingham. Yeah, this advice this is, is meaningless. Catastrophic, catastrophic. There are no standards in that city. Absolutely bottom of the barrel out there. Birmingham, you might as well be in fucking the Fallout Wasteland. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You get the same number of bitches as you would get in a fucking vault, dude. And half of, of them will be mutants. half of half of them will be your cousins. <laughs> 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 Why does this guy look AI animated? Uh, yeah, he doesn't face have tune. the same. He's edited every tune. one of those pics. No, dude. it's true. It's true. Wait, wait. Let's watch. Let's watch. Let's watch. She I does face in tune. a short amount of time. No. You can see the photos I've used on the screen now. These are above average photos. It did take me a lot of time to get these photos, and they've all uh -huh. been enhanced to get the maximum results enhanced! possible. The percentages you can see on the screen here, <laughs> they are not made up. I actually got every single one They're of these photos not made up. Look. on Photophila, which is a website where you can get your images rated by women. So this particular photo was rated by 50 women. He outsourced? age range of 18 to 20. <laughs> okay. Okay, wait, 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 wait. He outsourced? Bro, hold on. Okay, hold on. Wait, 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 Wiz. You and me need to get ourselves rated on Photophila and see if the snail or the frog does it for women better. We need to... We, <laughs> dude, we're doing you know this. the frog is going to mog you, dude. No, dude, I think they'll you're like me. You're a little me. ugly snail. You're a little no. ugly guy now. Listen, I'm going to teach you... You used to be cute, now you're ugly. You're ugly duckling. Didn't I'm going to teach you... I'm going to teach you a little something called uh, uh, niche maxing, okay? I think the girls want the snail. I'm going to... I'm gonna test my photo. Sign up with Facebook or LinkedIn? No! Oh, what? You're double fucked, dude. Jesus Christ, I'm not touching that shit with a 10 foot pole. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, man. Wait, Wiz, you've got Facebook. Imagine Wait. it posts on LinkedIn, <laughs> like you're rated. <laughs> my LinkedIn. Yeah, they're like, hey, I need. Why? For, for a system that is clearly designed for getting your dating photos, why would you do Facebook or LinkedIn <laughs> as the only options? Not even Google. It's like, do you want your colleagues to know how ugly you are objectively with our three point system? This Share how, how highly you got rated on fucking LinkedIn. All your connections can see that you're an 8 out of 10 male. Uh, how do they, wait? How do they verify it's women? Uh, definitely at uh, penis inspection. It's day. Definitely it's, not an it's automated a, process. No, it's a ge it's genital inspection, and even then, it's not accurate <laughs> because trans people exist. Twenty <laughs> nine, and as you can see, it reached in the top five percent of attractiveness, a nine point five. And if we look over on this oh side, my of the God. Screen, I love that he got a five point two on trustworthy. <laughs> <laughs> he's like they're like the bitches are like this is 9.5 in terms of hotness and i i would not trust this motherfucker as far as i could throw him and i'm a woman so i can't throw things what i will say a little bit of apartment dissection he looks like he's in student halls oh, he's got right. toilet paper on his bed stand oh no <gasps> that's a he's classic been wanking, dude 
He's been chucking it. Well, he's been, listen, he's been doing so much swiping on Tinder. How can you avoid it, you know? You gotta no. chuck. Listen, listen, this is a red pill tactic, okay? You gotta, hey, this is real advice, all right? In between every 50 swipes, you jerk off, okay? You don't wanna let your horny brain dictate what you're swiping, okay? You gotta stay in post nut clarity to make the right decisions, to do the right texts, all right? You can never be horny. You can only ever be in a state of post nut clarity when you're on Tinder. True. Whoa. Do it. Highly recommend. 27 of the women said that it was very Johnson. attractive. I was very attractive in this photo. 16 said yes, 7 said somewhat, 0 said none. So if you want to get results as an average guy on Tinder, this is the kind of quality of photos you need. And uh -huh. I'm going to be showing all of the results in this video. So make sure you Bro. keep watching until the very end to see what level of my, results you can my, get as an average guy. Anyway, we'll get straight. Dude. You <laughs> my, uh, my Tinder, like my Tinder is so far from any photos like that at all. Every yeah, one of too. my photos on Tinder, it's just me causing chaos. <laughs> um, like, I think this guy would actively say actively aggressively not anything close to this on purpose. You know, this guy, this guy has a term for us. Do you want to hear it? What? He would call us. He would call us Jester Maxes. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that. I didn't know yeah. that's what I was relating to. So Jester Maxer is a derogatory term for the guys who will like laugh and entertain. The idea is the every guys woman with charisma. Well, you know, because every woman is a queen, right? They think they're a queen because they've been elevated by society. They're looking for a Chad King, and then they have a bunch of jesters rolling around for them, doing tricks, um, and they're soaking up all of the attention, but they never fuck the jesters. That's the that's that's how these guys think. But what happens if it is successful? Well, this is the thing. The the reason the reason that they needed to create the concept of Jester Maxa is that none of them are actually intelligent or funny. So they have to find some way to dismiss of being <laughs> funny as a way to get chicks. So they're like, yeah, well, uh, listen, it is literally easier for a medical professional to snap your fucking jaw in half and change it so that you've got a stronger jawline than it is to make an unfunny incel funny. So this is this is uh, they had to create the Jester Max. <laughs> they will literally snap their bones in half and grow two inches taller from the cartilage extending in their thighs before they learn how to like actually be funny and interesting it's so fucking funny Gwyn's lowering the bar oh, no yeah. <laughs> Gwyn stop stop the bar is fucked okay listen i'm gonna wait i think you know what wait, wait, wait. let's see let's see because they they always rate women when they're talking about them like, i i we're, gonna, we're probably gonna see some tinder profiles we'll see what this guy's idea of a 10 is let's have a look for the experiment, which lasted seven days, I swiped a total of 1,807 times. And of these, oh my God. Well, almost 2k swipes, swipes in seven days? 1,082 of them That's were insane. less swipes. For the so most wait, part, wait. I was only swiping on can women we... who were attractive and looked date-worthy material. Can we, can we, okay, hold on. So let's do the math. So it takes, it takes, let's say five seconds to look at a profile on Tinder, right? I'm doing, I'm doing the math. You got a calculator, brother? We're doing this. Uh, sure, sure. I'll sure. do it. I'll, no, you're not doing it. Fine, I'll do it. Okay, so we've got, so let's say five seconds a swipe, okay? So that's 9,000 seconds divided by, that's 100. This man spent a full, like, three hours swiping. Jesus fucking Christ, just like chain swiping. Okay, okay. That's I'm, with five I'm gonna seconds I think profile. this number is made up. I think this number is made up. How has oh. he totaled this? Trust me, How has he I, added I, this up? I truly expect that this is not a made up number. This is literally all this guy does is Tinder Was he tallying? Was he swipe one, swipe two, swipe I bet three? He must have a program or something that does it. Maybe he's got, you know, one of those clickers they use for like, uh, you know, controlling crowds. He has, <laughs> he's like, got click, click, He is click, the type click. of gym bro that would have one of those. For right? sure, yeah. Maybe it's a pedometer. Maybe he swipes really hard and it just like, it gets registered as a step on his watch. Also more bedroom analysis. What is that jug in the shape of an arse? <laughs> Bedroom analysis. Wait, what? Oh my god, yeah, he does- Wait! And there's like a can of deodorant and a hairdryer there as well. Yeah, bro, listen, the- 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 the jug- the- the- the toilet paper is for jerking off into, and the jug is for jerking off to. You need- you need both. Look in the mirror, <laughs> look at the chair he sat on. Oh no! He's in oh, holes. He's in holes. This man is is he's is in shin holes. There is no he's, way. He's he's twenty one. We've already okay. We're doing the maths again. Is he one of those guys no, that didn't I'm make friends sure. in first year of uni and has stayed in holes throughout all of it? I am. I so I this guy. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna give you some lore on this guy in a little bit, but I'll start by saying that he got expelled from university six months ago. 
no. Yeah, there's a. I need to find that video. There's a. There's a video of him talking about the fact that he got fucking expelled from uni. I guess for like. I don't. We'll find harassing out. Probably. I assume it's for harassing women because he kept doing. He kept doing college campus like day game and like t like fucking <laughs> like interviews and harassment and shit. This guy got fucking no. expelled from uni, dude. Uh, not necessarily relationship material. But to be clear. Expelled from uni in Birmingham, where that's basically impossible. Yeah, I know. That's <laughs> the, the, such a the, difficult feat. The bar is so low. At the very least, the very least, you would go on a date with them, maybe have a few casual fun times with them. And just to give you a quick indication, here's a quick video. Oh, here we go. This was the level of girls that I was swiping on. So just you know, mostly five, six, pure sevens, dogs. A couple, eights it's here insane. And there. No women that were below a five in attractiveness. This was a level of uh, att zero women <laughs> below a five. I will not fuck the fours. <laughs> I will never touch a four. I see a four and I make the cross sign with my hands. Oh god, also 19, 19, 19, Yeah, well, he 21. is 21, to be fair. Is he? So How do you know he's 21? He it says on his profile, if we go back to the screenshot of his profile, I it said I 21. Sorry, this you're going to be charitable. You're going to take this man's word for it that his age is 21, really? You're gonna, you're no, gonna... because he's a red pillar. He would see being older as a positive thing. Mm, no, but he, but okay, listen, I he think wouldn't, this like, is... He wouldn't LARP nah, as younger than he is. I get, Women I, aren't attracted to, like, like he, that, they wouldn't see it as, like, not if he's in uni, to younger not men. If, not if he's in university. Let, here's my take, okay? My guess is, he, maybe he's, like, a late start student, he's, like, 24, 25, and he's got his age down lower, because otherwise everyone would ask, why the fuck are you 25 and in uni? So that way he gets a few years advantage on girls that he's trying that, to fuck at uni. That, that's that's my, not a strat. Women don't care about Really? That stuff when you're when you're like an 18 year old that's the last thing you ask because mm. you've got no life experience Is that you're true? not gonna be yeah, like oh, you're i 25, think why i you prefer i prefer the 21 jump street <laughs> version of my <laughs> I, i'm saying <laughs> I, he's 21 jump streeting he's this motherfucker's doing a 21 jump street i'm calling it right now hey he, hey he looks wait. young as well there's a like, reason he's he got edited his photos to look older but he looks young yeah, but we don't know why he was expelled from uni, you know? Maybe that's it. Maybe maybe he's like 35 and he got expelled from uni. You don't get expelled like... from uni for being 35. <laughs> you get you get expelled from uni for for raping 21-year-olds as a 35-year-old, that's for sure. No. If you're the same if you're the same age as them, you don't get expelled because uh, you know, patriarchy. <laughs> yeah, boys will be boys. Boys You're will no be boys. Boy yeah, they're allowed to make a couple of mistakes, it's fine attractiveness i was swiping on because as most of you guys watching you want to get dates with this kind of caliber of girls not the <laughs> average women next of the 725 <laughs> right swipes this resulted in 98 matches this which means i did a match with 602 however of this 725 there was also an, an additional 25 women that liked me but they were either really far away or they were unattractive so i didn't match with these women so in Same terms of the actual date worthy attractive matches there were 98 of those and if we just take a look quickly at this <laughs> graph, which is the number of matches i got per day oh my god you can see there is a huge drop off after the first Oh no! On day one, I got Fuck. 43 matches, and by the end of the week, it's literally 10 times less. I was getting five, three, and four matches, which shows that on Tinder, if you create a fresh new account, you do get a massive boost from the algorithm. Oh, no. And this is what some people say is how Tinder tries to scam you guys in terms of uh, wanting you to buy their products, buy the boost, buy the Tinder Gold, Platinum, whatever, uh, because most people get a lot of matches as they create a fresh new account. But then I, I don't know if this is a scam. I think this is just how a lot of systems work, where they'll they want to show people fresh content because no i know why this happened sorry okay um do you know why i know how this I've works also got an answer. okay no here's my answer i know why this works it's because tinder uses the same matchmaking system as video games so in in a game like i, I don't know league of legends or dota 2 when you're new to the game they will be they have no idea what your skill level is so they'll put yeah, you they in have matches to place you Exactly. So they want to run you on a bunch of tests so that they can understand what your caliber is. And once they've got increased confidence about where you place, then they'll put you in that position and they'll show you to fewer people because they've got enough data on you that they feel like they can understand what your ELO is, basically. Um, yes. Tinder uses ELO. You get ranked. You definitely get, you get ranked on. You Tinder. do get ranked on Tinder. It's objective. Yeah. Like there have been studies that show that there is. Because like everyone, an everyone ELO tells rating. me there's a big drop off on on uh, what's it called, Tinder. Yet I have never experienced it. It's never slowed down. If that makes sense. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, so you're saying you're saying that you just constantly got like top tier? It's, it's you, always you, been the same rate. You're, People you're, say you're like it goes up and down, whereas like for me, it's always been like yeah. consistently the same. And I I've don't, always find it confusing because I don't like, use. What um, is the? 
I don't use Tinder, so I don't know. Like I've, I, I think well, I'm on Tinder's a, a placeholder name for dating apps. Sure, but like Tinder not all of them work that way, right? Like um, Hinge yeah. and Tinder, they both have an ELO system. Uh, Field does not have an ELO system. Yeah, uh, which is, uses it. Well, yeah, but it's it, but that's why it's better. It's it's better because it's less competently put together, which means that they're ex they're less exploitative, not by design, but because they're too incompetent to exploit you properly. So it's actually easier to get real connections on the shittier, more niche apps because the worse it's designed, the worse they are at keeping you on the app. So it's actually I would recommend fuck Tinder, find some like niche app that has a, some some amount of people in a subgroup that you're interested in meeting. And your honestly, advice is bad, right? Field works for your advice because you want to find these absolute freaks, right? Well, no, 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 no. If I'm you saying, go on another no, niche go app that choose. isn't Field. Go, go on J-Date. Go on Christian Mingle. Go on, I'm <laughs> telling you, go find people in your niche. Go find the niche. Go on a vegan smug, dating app. Smug, smug. The smaller apps are indated with bots because they don't have the abilities to combat them. Hmm. Field is the only exception where it's smaller. Are you telling me that issue. literally only Field works? If Field is true, is the only option. Are you serious? That can't. In be terms true. of it independent dating apps, that is really. True. So there's Man. there's the big three: Bumble, uh, Hinge, Tinder. Right? They're the big three. They're huge. They're yep. massive. They're all ranked. You know, apart from maybe Bumble. I don't know if Bumble's got a ranking system. Um, and right. then in terms of outside players, there's Pure, which is monetized to the heavens. Right, uh, at least if you're a man on it that that's the one where you have to pay if you're a man and it's free if you're a woman and then to match a oh. woman you have to send them like 16 pounds you send them like a drink <laughs> wow Wait, what? That's and that's amazing. how you show interest and it's supposed to be like yeah this guy's so interested in you he spent he 17 spent quid money? and it stops like oh my god I need to but it means that just Wait. tories use it it's just the tory dating app i um i might go use that i'm rich i should try that should i go i'm gonna go use you will it match before. with the worst people on oh the god <laughs> i wanna i wanna wait, wait 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 no 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 i'm gonna cook i'm gonna hate fuck some tories that sounds amazing wait a minute wait a minute this is literally what i'm into bro you just gave me access to the best cluster b population of people i could possibly want i need i need these schizo a uh, schizotypal paranoid freaks yes oh my god you, what, what would you say it's um, called? Sorry, do you have a referral link, Wiz? Can you send me a referral link? I, I don't because right I don't now. use it. I'm a brocoid. Just do grinder. I am not gay, no matter what this frog says. Uh, and then, what's it called? All the other ones, all the smaller <laughs> apps, absolutely indated with bots. They're just robots. Is that true? City. Okay. So I just yeah. got super lucky. Well, I clean up on field. That's, I guess that's the, so I change well, your, that's change you're your freak. advice. You're a little freaky. Yeah, guy. baby. But that's, I, that's the thing. I think the reason, the, the reason I do so well there is that I'm into freaks, but I'm not myself a freak. So uh, I, they, they, are I you really going to claim you're not a freak? <laughs> <laughs> you I, I'm that? not the kind of freak they are. Okay. All right. I, I am a stab. <laughs> I think you're exactly the kind of freak they are. Really? Okay, fine. Forget it. Forget Forget I said anything. I'm coping. Just fine. Fucking yeah. hot snails in your area. Yeah. You know what? There's all Sorry. sorts of snails in those apps. There was, there was a moment where I believed what I said, and then, like, my prefrontal cortex kicked in, and I started looking at a small blue snail in front of a red pillar talking <laughs> to a frog, and I realized that, you know what? Maybe, maybe this isn't, you know, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe I'm off. Maybe yeah, I'm out maybe, of touch. You know what? Maybe I didn't... Yeah, maybe I'm out of touch <laughs> with my own content that I'm making right yeah. now. <laughs> how... How... Like, I just... Sorry. Whoa, I'm back. I just disassociated for a second there. Hey, buddy. Yeah. How's it going? Should we continue the video? You, you had a dream you were a normal functioning human being. I had a dream that... It's because it's I've been working so hard all day and I've been... So I, I've, I've been... I've been fucking... I don't know, bro. My, my brain has actually degenerated over the last four <laughs> days. I actually... I... I I went so hard not normal, and then today was such a hard crash back into normal that now I feel like I think I, I forgot that I've just had an insane weekend. I'm, I'm having a bad time. It's been rough. Whoa. Holy shit. Oh my god. He's losing it, chat. He's I'm losing, losing it. it. I'm losing it. T last last night, okay, I was I was cuddling with a girl and giving her reasons to break up with me. I was trying to convince her to break up with me. She was Gaslight like- Gaslight game keep going, I <laughs> 
she, she was like, you're ruining men for me. And I'm like, okay, well, are you like unable to find other dudes? And she was like, no. Okay, well, like, is it, I don't know, does it make you feel inadequate? No, I'm fine. Like, okay, well, like, fine. I'm trying to figure out how to fucking get you to break up with me. Like, 2024, it's, it's man's time to waste girl's time. True! Oh my god, finally. I'm so glad that the patriarchy's back on top, baby. That's so, it's such a good moment to be a dude. I'm so excited. Bug, what is this? I don't even know! <laughs> I don't even know. Smugbug ruined snails for me. That's true. I, I like how we baited Bonk in with the Keir Starmer, and now we're watching this man explain how he gets no pussy. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> That's on to par a... for Keir Starmer, dude. True. True. This guy, uh, you know Keir Starmer fucks. I, I've seen him I've seen him at the sex parties, okay? I yes. guarantee you. Yes. yes. That's how he yes. reminds him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, his father was a tool maker. What do you think those tools were for, huh? Well, if it's anything to do with the family business, we already know. That's true. That's yeah, a yeah. That's All a right, little hint. later, they're getting barely any matches. A little bit more information. The experiment took place in Birmingham, UK, which has a population of one million people. I was uh, setting the age range oh, to God. eighteen to twenty-five year olds only, uh, and it was a ten kilometer radius, so only people that lived close no. to where I am. And lastly, I did purchase Tinder Platinum. It was only thirty quid. No! I mean, <laughs> oh no! 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 It's got Brother! nothing to do with it. the effort he's put in. None of the advice makes it's sense. It's literally just him getting. Oh my god! Wait, actually, sorry. Can I? Sorry, can I tell you one more thing? Pay about to this win. Girl? Pay to win. Since we're talking about dating, do you want to know what the most convincing <laughs> argument I had was? Speaking speaking of ten kilometers, I I currently live about like a twenty minute walk away from her. I am uh, I'm going to move house in a couple months to about a forty minute walk away from her. Yeah, we're and moving into was, a streamer house, by the way, guys. Yeah, we're, we're, we're moving to a streamer house, and that was honestly the closest thing to a deal breaker I could give her. She genuinely thought about it. She was like, "Wait, you're moving forty minutes away." Hmm. Maybe this isn't gonna work <laughs> whole out. Double the Jesus way. Christ, dude! Like the way people's brains are set on the proximity. Proximity. That's oh, a London God. thing. P it's Londoners, so crazy. Londoners are so sensitive about distance. It's so weird. I've literally, I've literally had like great dates. You know where? You know, I've had great times with people, and then I'll tell them like, "Yeah, I live in X," and they'll go, "Oh, that's like an hour away from me." Um. <laughs> Well, this was no, nice. And I'm like, how, sorry, how, uh, how, uh, 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 but y y there's no, you, how are you so atomized that just an hour commute is too much for love? Well, not love, but like, you know, for human connection. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Love. It's like, Jesus Christ, there are dudes who are spending two grand on escorts and you're like, unable to spend an hour on a bus to like, get to some fuck. Like, holy shit, dude. Oh you need god. to be a one-hour man, dude. I'm a one-hour man. I'm just gonna stop. Oh god, it's just it's brutal. Honestly, fuck me. The reason I did that was to increase my ranking in the algorithm because uh, if you pay a customer, Tinder does reward you and give you more matches. <laughs> the only reason that. I did that was to cheat the customers <laughs> yeah! paying for their services. Next, of the 98 matches that I got, <laughs> this resulted did you fuck? in getting 24 WhatsApp numbers, which meant See, what's up? WhatsApp? WhatsApp is the better. I told you, Wiz. I told you, Wiz. WhatsApp no, is the better. It's the better. No, if he's doing it's it, it's the better. Conversion. No, it's not. It's great conversion. I'm telling you, man. WhatsApp, dude. WhatsApp is the fucking meta. I'm telling you right now, dude. WhatsApp is so you can lie and don't have your Get Instagram pictures on show. Bit. I don't even have an Insta. Okay, hold on. Wait, exactly, I'm gonna give you dude. Dude, exactly. dude. Have you ever, have you ever seen the look that a bitch gives you when you say you have no Instagram? It is eighty percent fear, twenty percent arousal. It's incredible. They literally, Whoa. they look at you like they're like. I might be serial killed or you might be the one. A man without Instagram is so... Now, to be clear, when I say without Instagram, I mean you have never had an Instagram. I mean there is no record of any cringe you've ever posted in your entire life on that fucking thing. You... I don't mean a dead Instagram. I don't mean one where you posted images like, you know, eight years ago. I mean nothing! You are an enigma! A mystery! The girls, they all sit down, they scrape for your profile online. What do they find? Ghost. Nothing. It's like you don't even exist. Do they even believe Whoa. that you're real? You have no idea. That is how you jester max and get away with it. Because then people don't find out about your secret That's schizo maxing. Account. That's not jester Yeah, schizo. You're right, schizo maxing. I'm gonna give- so Wiz is gonna teach you jester maxing. I'm gonna teach you schizo maxing, okay? WhatsApp is for Oscar. Lonnie, stop DMing my fucking animator. You're distracting <laughs> him from his work. Holy shit. Oscar! Oscar! No one fuck the talent! No one fuck the talent. I'm at the never had instant level of autism. Based, you will die happy. I love you. 
just stop responding. They either refuse to give me their WhatsApp number or they, more often than not, they would just stop responding to messages. And this part of the experiment, <laughs> I would say, was the most frustrating part because the vast majority <laughs> of women that you were matching with, and you would anticipate if you match with them that they find you. This, this is this is true. Like I've got like a 50-50 on ghosting, to be fair. Like, do you, do you get that as well, Wiz? Don't, don't fucking exaggerate for clout. Depends. Depends where you live. Oh, true. There's a lot um, of options in London. So I, I, I to be honest, more I'm more of the the ghoster. I'm more guilty of this than I. I do, to be fair, to me. I because I lose interest in all these apps so because quickly. of your fucking undi untreated ADHD. <laughs> I, wait, hold on. I'm gonna <laughs> listen. So it's not immediately doing... in front of me. I forget to reply. Okay, we're doing dating content, right? I'm I'm gonna scroll through my shit. And I'm gonna look at the ratio of me ghosting to them ghosting. Let's have a look here. I'm pretty sure it skews heavily women. Okay. <laughs> what? What's so funny? Don't do it. Don't do it. Why? <laughs> oh, what? Am I just? Am I gonna? Am I gonna self-report? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There'll be a pattern. The last thing I said to her was something about dogs. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, this was... one's also about dogs. I and was told that white. Dogs. I was told that white women love dogs. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you. Attractive. They might want to see you, but it's simply not the case. Most of the women you match with. 75% of them will just stop responding for whatever reason. They will take eight hours to respond. They will send one word messages. They How will just ignore your questions, they. things like that. And in fact, I even took this screenshot. This just epitomizes what um, uh, I, I'm talking about. Something I've noticed with this guy. Oh no, you'd be saying... cuter if you responded. What is this oh. thing? What the fuck, dude? Holy oh. shit. That oh. is dark. That, that is, is fucking... real bad. That's, That's real bad. Dark. That is, I'll kill you. If you don't respond Bro. to me, I'll kill you. If you're too shy, I'd understand. You'd be cuter if you respond? If you're too Whoa. shy, I'd understand is scary. You'd be cuter if you responded is a straight up actionable threat. That is, that is fighting You're unattractive words, to me because <laughs> you no longer validate me. Whoa. You've become You'd be unattractive. You'd be cuter if you responded. Oh, I'm trying to think if that would work. There is a part of no. me that thinks this might work. Hold on. Let me think. I think we're looking at the evidence that it doesn't. Well, it's rapey energy for sure. You'd be cuter if you responded. Hmm. Oh, I know. Wait, wait, hold on. I can. I, this does work. I'm going to explain why, okay? Because never forget that the way the red pill actually works is not about building relationships or getting, like, uh, women who are sensible. It's about purely filtering for people who've been in abusive relationships or are extremely accessible to this kind yeah, of language. That's true. So, you're actually filtering for the women who will put up with your shit enough for you to fuck them because they've had so many negative experiences or they're so so fucked in the head. I wonder, from, like, I wonder how them. applicable that, that is for the age group he's going for. Because he's going for little girls. Oh, right? dude. I I don't know if you went... Did you go to university? Yeah. I lived with three women who would have responded positively to that. Okay? There is... <laughs> trust me. Trust me. There are plenty of them. They go straight from abusive house households. Especially, um, uh, especially foreign girls in more patriarchal societies. Like, I, I lived with two girls who, who were from Eastern Europe, and both of their, like, previous boyfriends were straight up, like, rapey abusers, and that was just the, totally the norm. One was from Russia and one was from Poland. Like, it was just completely Whoa. the norm there. Like, that is just... That's just how they are. So I think, again, like, you're kind of appealing to this especially in uni when there's such a melting pot of like different cultures you can kind of exploit them and you'll we'll see this later a lot of the day game guys they go to other countries to do this and it's because the women respond um uh, more positively to that kind of like heavy patriarchal kind of like you know abuse coded language do you know there's a, a thing within red pill communities to that warns people against going to denmark for that reason oh yeah i've heard about this yeah what, what was this so, uh, wait, wait, let me get my, let me get my book. You've got a book? What? Wait, what, it's, what book? The book is Why Women Have Better Sex Under Socialism. And there's a, there's a whole section basically where because of the economic conditions in Denmark, um, women have the same employability rate as men. It's like one of the few countries in the world where it's like identical one for one. Therefore, right. almost no red pill tactics work because there's nothing a red pill man can offer a woman that she can't get herself. That's so fucking funny. That like, so they're warned yeah. against going because they will receive no success. Yeah. This is this it's is like a hundred percent failure rate of red pill tactics. Yeah, this is this is the fundamental truth of the red pill. What the red the red pill does genuinely teach you techniques that will get you sex. The way those techniques work are they're basically exploiting the hidden coercion 
between men and women in most cultures and just maximizing the impact of that social coercion in order to get sex from women and it's technically consent from like the very limited understanding of consent that we generally have in society but ultimately it is just exploiting the coercion that already exists in the system to its maximum possible potential so that you can get some fucking pussy it's very sad whoa sounds like a good book though it's a great book. Is based. It's not just about that. That's just one of the essays within yeah. the book. I wish I could see the entire process of two people matching, chatting, going on a date for once. It feels like my experience is light years removed from normally, so I have about zero clue how their experience looks like. You know what? Wiz, should we do it? Um, Come on. Do, do, Let's dock some women, baby. Let's dock some women. Maybe we'll talk about this later. I'll, you know what? I will. Oh, I'm kind of tempted. Should I read? Do you know? What? I can give. I can give eyes in the quick run through, right? I, I'll, I tell, I'll. Wait, wait, wait. I'll read. I haven't really this? been dating recently, but I can give an example of what the. No, no, no. no. I, you go, go on your Tinder. You're going to go start. You're going to tell us what your first line was and what their response was. I, have, I use the same, same first line every single time. Every. Single I know time you do. Time. I know you do. But I want to see the, the past, response. Like okay. Four years. I will. I will. I will do it too. We're going to read from our dating apps. Okay. We're going to do. We're going to commit some personal stake to this. All right. Wiz, I'm. 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 I'm forcing you to do this for. Content. Content. It's gonna be funny. I need to check if I've got any installed. <laughs> what do you mean? You didn't uninstall it. I don't use them. I've not been. That's I've not, not been installing, dating. motherfucker. We're doing this. We're gonna teach Eisen. Okay, okay. We're gonna teach Eisen how to Riz. Okay. You're 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 literally meant to be Riz. Um, okay. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. 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 okay stay tuned, folks. We're actually going to do this. Was a message, I'll start. And I would even right. follow-up messages. And by the way, I'm the one who's so schizophrenically paranoid. I literally won't meet anyone or tell anyone any details about my personal life. And I am committing to this for the content. So Wiz, you have no excuse. Okay, I need to find a conversation a couple of days later. Later, they More than two minutes before. before. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> find, find, one, find one that got you to a conversation. Let's start, let's start from the ground up. Sales funnel style, okay? We just need to get to a conversation with a woman. That's all you need, all right? We'll start there, all right? We'll pick one of those, all right? Up there, uh, message list. And then they would still ignore that. So it was, for the most part, a fruitless attempt. I this was is insane. getting ignored for the most part by the vast majority. Oh, I forgot to However, say my initial got... observation. Um, oh. This guy is sitting off my gaydar. Uh, yeah, that's just because you've got a very, very over overactive gaydar. Okay, if you think so. <laughs> 24 if you think so. Although I think I think the disgust and hatred they have for women can often mask the, that homoerotic kind of. I I think this is a yeah. huge exercise in overcompensating. Maybe I, it's possible. I, I think I would say I would put like maybe 15 20 percent of red pillars might be in that category of like because there's or this gay. weird this whole like sci science bit or whatever. It's a weird removal from like actual. It's so dating. detached. It's like they don't it's even like, yeah, enjoy it's the like, sex. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah, which is a common thread for red pill. His gestures look a little gay because the video's went off. I I Gwyn's got it. <laughs> men, gay men, gay men are just on 1.5 times speed. That's how it works. Gay men just flap their arms 1.5 times faster than straight men. It's true. That's it's why true. they always Gwyn's fly. Cooking. Gwyn's cooking. Yeah, it's true. That's how they can flat. That's how they can levitate. Next, of these 24 WhatsApp numbers, that resulted in me offering 22 dates, which meant that I didn't offer, offer dates to two women. So two women stopped responding on WhatsApp. And this was quite a lifesaver, I thought, I thought, because on Tinder, if there's 100 other guys in a girl's inbox, then you're only one of them. And it's going to be quite difficult for her to invest in the conversation and be compliant, uh, you know, jump through the hoops that you like. I mean, th this is compliant? the first bit. Oh, God, wait, did he say? I was just about to say this is the first bit of good advice. And then I stopped on compliant. Never mind. Forget that I said anything. Well, it is we'll true that you, compliant on you, need to, you do need to get off app as quickly as possible. That is true. Yes, like, of course. Yeah, of course. everyone knows good this. Advice. Lay out. However, one layout. However, once you get a woman on WhatsApp, because there might only be three or four of those guys over there, the level of compliance and investment reasons. from the woman goes up he, dramatically. He's, and so he, he, views it, he views it as it removes competition, whereas in fact, why it works is because it shows a level of investment. I, uh, you know, it what shows interest. I'm actually going to disagree. I think you're both wrong. I think it's literally just notifications. When you, when you look at a dating app notification, it stacks all of them together in one group. Uh, I think he's more right than you are, actually, because it is a bit of a competition. Whereas on WhatsApp, WhatsApp is like you you are attuned to treating messages from WhatsApp more seriously. Those notifications go straight to, through to your phone because people treat them like they used to treat text messages. Whereas Tinder, Tinder, like girls will like hop on it once every eight hours and swipe a bit and then fuck off. WhatsApp, people will respond to messages a little bit more consistently. Well, because that's because you're a boomer. Bro, everyone in London uses WhatsApp because everyone's fucking foreign here, dude. So yeah, everyone's using it because it's the easiest international... F Shut up. 
Who the fuck needs a SIM card, you fucking boomer? Bring 22 dates to the women that I got WhatsApp numbers from. Next, of these 22 dates that I offered, you're not going to believe this, 22 of them said yes. I am not- Whoa. Mm, I bet he I got- uh, somebody. Uh, it's po How honestly, many dates did he actually go on? Every- every- I, I- I don't think I've ever got a girl to WhatsApp and not gone on a date What is- her. Whoa, I think that is wait, what's he counting as agreeing to dates? Because it could be- we should do something sometime. Yeah, that'd be fun. Is he using that as a confirmation? Well, let's check. Let's check whether the date happened. He will definitely give us whether the not date happened. Not joking on this point. Yeah. I could show you the proof on my phone. All 22 of the girls okay, that I offered dates to on WhatsApp in the very next message said yes. But it's true. If a girl gives you your WhatsApp, uh, her WhatsApp, she, 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 you've already won, right? Like she's already yes. in her head. She's agreed yeah. to the date. So th this is normal. Like you can only fumble it, right? Like you can only fuck up catastrophically to get to, to, to fuck this up. They all agreed and wanted to uh, go on a date with me. However, that is not the full story because this was the second most frustrating part go. of the experiment. Oh no. Of How many all of these 22 through? women that said yes, in the very next part of the message conversation, oh. as soon as I started trying to arrange the logistics, only nine of them actually went through. Oh my god! Yep. Jesus! Yep. How? Okay, he was counting this guy... the fake yes. He was counting the sure. fake yes. Yeah, but but okay, hold on, dude. I okay, I love. Uh, first of all, I love the way that red pillars talk. Do you you know that they talk about? They call it logistics. They they literally <laughs> they all use this word no logistics. Romance, logistics. There's no. It's like how do I how do I it's like how do I transport how do I ship this pussy to me? That's literally how they think about it. It's fucking insane, dude. Logistics. Holy shit. But, uh, okay. So, so, like, I I don't think I've ever not ended up... I, 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 I'm I looking through my WhatsApp. I'm, like, 80% sure I've never got a girl to WhatsApp and not got to a date. So, this guy is fumbling the logistics. I'm Okay, I, uh, hold on. I know... I think I know how. I'm going to be charitable. I'm going to assume that he's not fumbling the logistics because he's bad. Obviously, his entire life is dedicated to optimization. I think, again, he's optimizing for dates that maximize the possibility of sex. And I probably don't do that, which means women are more comfortable going on a first date because I'll, like, I'll suggest a coffee or something. And this guy will only suggest something that's three hours away from, like, midnight when he can go back to their place and fuck. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, like, he's yeah. being very, he's probably front loading, like, a lot of sexual energy at the conversation whereas i do the smart thing which is getting friend zoned and then fucking them anyway which is that's deceiving. the real deceiving exactly the woman. exactly no I, I i don't know i think of it you come think, in with your belly turned up true you, you you yeah you trick them into a false sense of security and then bam you're in i mean with consent bam <laughs> before she knows anything she has no idea what's going on she fully consents to a wonderful evening. And then BAM! <laughs> oh god. I, I, I think, I think, of, okay, so red pillars are very, very sex focused. I always think of dating, and uh, to be clear, I do use dating strategy, like uh, everyone does, right? Like it is, it is a game, yeah. unfortunately. Um, but well, most I, of it's unconscious dating strategy. Sure, you know, like yeah. Combing your hair or wearing a certain shirt. Yeah, bro, but we're both schizophrenic. The same shirt you wear for every so date, we, you know, because you're lucky shirt date, and bro. that shirt's actually just a football strip, you know? I do, I do have but two. The boys I like it. The boys say the you look boys, good when you wear it, so the you boys, wear it on the date. No, shut up! Jesus Christ. Stop. <laughs> you're meant to be the Riz guy! Jesus Christ, stop giving a bad advice. Ison, don't listen to this shitty little frog, okay? No no princesses be kissing this frog, all right? I put eyeliner on for dates. That's great, buddy. That's awesome. I I have no... I have no... I, I do not... I don't do the queer thing, so I can't give you... Wiz, why don't you give them some gay advice? <laughs> I, if anyone wears eyeliner, it's definitely you. What? I don't wear eyeliner. Please, my, this is natural, baby. You're like this a year from that, dude. I ah, my hair. Uh, this is natural. What are you talking about? These uh, these eyebrows are completely natural. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. You know what? I I oh wait. Oh shit. I can't. You know what's really annoying is that I am actually going to like uh, one of those events. And I probably will have to wear eyeliner and like paint my nails and shit. So there you go. You were right. It's happening. God damn it. Whoa. God damn it. Oh yeah, I know, god. Dude. I know you. Fuck you. Through with those logistics like and arrange yeah. plans, a time and place to meet up. So I only included this data in terms of a woman being a successful date. I wasn't going to include the 22 yeses because I know that the vast majority of them, in this case, 13 of them, started getting flaky as soon as I would want to arrange the logistics of how we can meet up. Because he was what super pushy. Yeah, I've definitely had women get flaky, but I've always, I've always got the date in the air. Okay, so uh, hold on. There's two kinds of flaky. You know what? 
it's it's more like if you I think if you respect flakiness, you're more likely to get a date, right? Like if, yes, if, if you go like right, yeah, just let me know when it's cool for you. you know? Yeah, if you do that sort of thing. I, but like, there are so many dudes who are like just desperately like hounding them. Like I'll just like chat to them tomorrow, once. seven o'clock tomorrow. We'll meet tomorrow. We'll yeah, meet tomorrow these here. guys. These guys are so huge on like quick turnaround. Like they'll be like, "You yeah. gotta set the next steps tomorrow. It has to be like the next day." Otherwise, if you don't meet her within twenty four hours, you're never fucking. Meeting you're a friend. Either. You're you're friend zone permanently. It's over. Yeah. You're gonna be the best man at her wedding. It's like that. You know, like uh, that first like time Scrubs or whatever. It's like if you don't kiss within twenty four hours. You're destined to be friends I mean, forever. It's like that. To be to be honest, that is a great episode, and I kind of agree with it. To be honest, like, Je- uh, or rather, okay, actually, let me let me re-explain. I there is this there is this tendency still today for dudes to just fucking crush on people and then never do anything about it. And I would rather they all like you know make make their intent clear in the first like 24, 48 hours than do the opposite, which is to fucking parasocially pine for some bitch that they're working with for fucking four years, and then make friends with them, <laughs> and then just spill that they've been in love with them the entire time, and just destroy a relationship that the woman was invested in. I would much rather they go up to her, and they're like, hey, you're super cute, do you want to grab a drink sometime? I work for you, so you can't say no. To a co-worker? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Why do you think I included that bit? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I think I think you can date people at work so long as they're not in the same department as you and they're not like a. Well, they rep- were, they, dude. They were. Well, they were. They were. I mean, I don't date anyone at work. Oh my god, did I? Did I? Oh, I sent you this DM I got today, didn't I? Fucking hell, dude. Yes. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> it's Jesus over Christ. For you, dude. It's so over, dude. I there is such a it's such a weird thing. I think there are women who have like been socialized to flirt with their bosses. And it just, it, it terrifies me. I feel like I'm like- In on London, the verge. it gets you favors. It's a proven thing. It's crazy. It's so upsetting. Cause like they'll, they'll send me like winky faces. They'll be flirty. I'll be like company parties. And I swear to God, dude, there are pictures of me where I look like a fucking pimp with like four girls decked out, like in my arms and like inf- in- insisting that they take a picture with me. And I it's don't just- think it's I, just... I worked a single job in London where- a manager wasn't dating an underling. Yeah, right? It's so easy. It's terrifying, dude. Now, in my company, I don't actually think there are any examples of that because we're kind of woke. So, like, everyone's very terrified of that kind of shit. But holy fuck, dude. It's crazy how easy it would be. All you Every- need is one person to do it and then the doors are open. That's true. That's so true. You that's how fragile the- it is. That's that's so true. Yeah, it just, it just has to... Yeah, that's absolutely true. Um, I think... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There just aren't any at work relationships. I think we're quite lucky there because it really does get things pretty messy. If you're wearing a purple overcoat with a feathered hat, I'd also want to take a picture with you. Damn fucking straight, dude. I got that. <laughs> I got that peacock riz. Let's go. He's wearing that eyeliner. You know I'm peacocking what I'm hard. Meet up where we can. We can meet up where we can meet up, and so on. And just to show you a couple of examples. Yes. Yes, content! Alright, let's read this. Whoa. Hey, hey Catherine. Catherine, great to meet you. Oh, he so signed much off! <laughs> so much, so much, wait, why did he sign off? Hey, Catherine, nice to meet you. Sam. Wait, I mean, t- so, uh, on field, you don't use your real name, so I, my first message will usually, hang on, I'm gonna read, this is a good time for me to read my first message. Let's have a look. Wiz, have you got yours up? We're doing this, you can't stop me. You, go ahead, buddy. <laughs> Uh, wait, hold on, I can't read. <laughs> well, wait one second. Hold on, I can't read. What? Well, no, I just re- I was about to- hold on, I'm- I'm really poorly nourished right now, and I'm definitely gonna accidentally read my name out, and even if I'm staring at the text, <laughs> it's gonna happen if I start reading. Because you sign them off, Cause Sam, I sign them off. Because I sign them off, yeah, yeah Sam, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, no, because I- because- because the- the thing I'm using is- is- is starts off anonymous, obviously, because, you know, queer people are afraid of sunlight. <laughs> They're like, same- same rules as vampire, garlic and sunlight, bad for queer people. Um, so, so you have to, so I actually won't tell them my name until I get them onto WhatsApp. And then in the first message, I'd be like, Hey, uh, by the way, my real name is blah, 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 blah. Right. Like it's just, uh, and then like you go from like the anonymous. You don't have your real name on field. Absolutely not, dude. Absolutely not. No. Hey, at least I show my face, motherfucker. All right. At least I show my fucking face. All right. Fuck you. Fuck you. I do that too. All the queer people I know love garlic. That's true, actually. They do love garlic. I think it's a... Uh, yeah, but they also love abuse. So maybe they they eat the garlic even though it burns them. It's probably Whoa. that. They true. love drama. Drama! <laughs> of what I mean by this. Um, this one, this particular girl, uh, she had already agreed to me. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's have a look here. So, hi! Uh, based on your previous message... Oh my god, what is this guy? 
I'm guessing this you're guy, free. He's gone in. He's gone in way too soon. He's this immediately so asking for plans. If you go cringe. on WhatsApp, this is another a strategy, right? Yeah. When you go into WhatsApp or one of these like other apps off the dating app, you yep. basically reset your conversation. You have to start again. You have to be like, "Hey, so how's it going? Like, what are you getting up to?" Da 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 da. And then you can maybe like, "Oh yeah, so I do actually you do something next week." So you have to, like okay. re-engage. I've actually so I I actually have a couple of techniques for this. Okay, <laughs> I've got a couple of options. So I will usually start with. Uh, so here's uh, here's a problem I have. Let me t- tell me if you have got the same issue. Okay, when I'm when I'm um when I do uh, dating, no, I don't. I'm flawless. Shut the fuck up up okay when i'm on a dating app i have this issue where my conversation will escalate you know i'll like say a couple i'll like <laughs> I'll, I'll reply and then i'll like make a joke and then they'll reply to the reply and the joke and now there's two conversation threads and then i'll reply and reply and reply and then they'll yeah, reply, and reply, and reply and reply and reply so like you end up with these weird like messages it's like a discord where like i'll like it's also i don't want to text pictures all day so i'll like go to it like once a day so like once a day i'll get six messages from a girl and then i'll send them six messages back and you keep it even but like it kind of you, you just back and forth like that it's honestly more like email than anything else maybe i am a boomer, <laughs> You're a boomer dude. that's oh, how you God. like whatsapp dude that's how i like WhatsApp. Well, i can't relate at all to what the fuck you're saying so here. but what I, but what i really what i really like for, bro, wait hold on are you live conversing with women like will they reply to you in like five minutes and you're like back and forth because that happens to me sometimes but no not instantly i messages i i only talk to someone if they're there at the same time as me see you know what it is i think and if they're not there at the same time as me that don't talk to them i think hmm i don't like I'm that not someone's because, pen pal yeah you know? no i pen pal people i think it's because i'm lazy and i don't i don't want to i don't want to invest i also time. voice note because i'm a psychopath oh my god i should voice note more holy shit i completely forgot voice notes were a thing i should definitely voice it's note. the most powerful thing because it gives you yeah. a better sense of person that's so true i should voice note fuck that's a really good idea wait i do i <laughs> Oh, that's good. that's good. No, that's good. That's good. That's good. I'm gonna add it to my repertoire. I'll tell you something. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Let me. Do you remember that? Do you remember that bitch from Barcelona? Hold on. I need to. I need to redo this. Barcelona. This is, this is my. This is probably my my greatest moment. Hang on. Wait. Let me. Let me. Let me run down this. Uh. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Uh. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. So this girl says. Um, uh, I think, I think she, like, didn't reply for a little while. I said something, you know, like, you know, are you busy or whatever? And she said, texting does fully suck ass. Oh, no, sorry. She said, I have no excuses. Sometimes texting Ooh. just sounds hard. And I said, texting does fully suck ass, I'll admit. I know I'm committing, like, five mortal sins of modern communication by asking this, but would you prefer a call? Uh, I but- fucking called her, dude! And it worked! No, it was incredible! No. She said that she said she replies that is literally the most outrageous thing anyone has ever said to me. <laughs> uh, I you replied are such a boomer. That's the most dude, boomer thing I've ever I, heard. I I replied I replied you swiped for the danger admit it. And then she said yes I'm interested conceptually. I have reservations that I'm trying to understand lol. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I said, I said, texting is our modern replacement for formality, right? Minimal risk of fuck up. But if it makes you feel better, you typo over all over the fucking shop, so seal's broken. Negged her. Perfect. Also, oh. what if I have a terrible voice? That would be a bummer, right? I could sound like Gilbert Gottfried. And she said, lol, I feel seen, but not in a good way. It's my keyboard, okay? Not me. I think part of the reservation is I try not to get too entangled with people before I meet them in general. But you know what? Why not? Run. <laughs> you know what? Run. You... Do you remember I told you about this girl? I tend this, to this, trauma dump. This is the one. This is the one that went real fucking weird. Where we had that date in Barcelona, and it was like we we fucking we like we fucking simulated a future relationship, like made out, and then never saw each other again. It was insane, dude. It was so funny. Oh god, she was so hot. We bonded over Lolita. That's a really bad vibe, isn't it? No. That's a really that's a really bad no. vibe. I know. Everything about this was wrong. This is the uh, uh, again, Schizomax over here, Jester Max over there. You decide which women you want. Do you want a woman who's going to talk to you about pedophilia in the first 5 minutes? Yes. No no other correct answer. No. Yes. Yes. The whole, th- the modern discourse around dating is, would you love me if I was a pedophile? You need women who will take care of you You're no matter online, how dude. fucked up you are. What? You're too online. I'm too online, it's true. Does Bonk know you're talking about Starmer? Yes, he's here. We're talking about Starmer soon. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. 
Massively anxiety coded. Yeah, anyway, I did end up talking to her for like an hour. It was nice. It was fun. She wanted to meet up. She agreed for a date on Tinder. So in this message- Wait, sorry. We, we got halfway through reading this guy's messages. Okay. Based on your previous message, I'm guessing you're free from Monday. My schedule is pretty open because I work remote, so I can choose my hours. Oh my god, I hate this guy so much. I'm free from Sunday till Tuesday. Fantastic. How does Sunday or Monday 2 p.m. sound? 2 p.m.? He set the terms. He said the terms fully. He's not asked her like, "Oh, when's best for you?" He's been like, "Yeah, this is when we will do it." Uh, if you're too shy to understand, okay, that's less aggressive than the other ones. That's 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 not great, but it's still. What's your whiz, Riz? Rather, yes, Riz. Yes, 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 yes. What is your solution? Let's say that you get ghosted after set setting up the logistics. Um, dude, just take the L. No point. No, um, don't take the L. What he's the fucked fuck? it. You can't set up. You can't no. set up the the time the date. Forget I'd never it. Do that. Assume, That's the first mistake. Assume, what do you mean? Why? Why would you set up a? What, why would you, you pivot out of this? Why you 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 get someone on Tinder in the or, or on WhatsApp in the first message? Let's is assume, the exact time No, of no, date. no. Shut the fuck up and listen. Let's assume that you. Right, to be honest, in. I'd reply. I'd reply with uh, if that if that flops or uh, or any time that suits you best. Just let me know. But I would never do this. I'd never be in this situation in the first place because yes, it's already would. such a Wait, misstep. Sorry, you've never so hold on, hold on. So you've never talked to a girl for an I've hour. never been gun ho and made the plan first. No! I, I or, or if I'd asked for a plan, I wouldn't be like 2 p.m. on Monday. Sure, but let's say let's say you go back and forth with a girl, all right? You you do like the final the final confirmation, and then she doesn't reply to the final confirmation. What's your follow-up? That's my that's my Hey, answer. if you're not difficult. feeling it, that's chill, don't worry. Okay, that's good. See, that's on. that's thank you. That's what I was looking for. Holy shit, dude. So yeah, I, I think that's I think that's like forty percent better than if you're too shy. I'd understand, but too shy is still kind of negging. That's a bit weird. Yeah, it is. It's gross. It's weird. It's super gross. It's I never reply weird. like that. Yeah, yeah. I that, I think I think your reply is what I would do as well. Like just like hey, if if if, if you're not interested in anything, you're not about. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and then I think the fact that you're chill about it makes people more likely to I wouldn't want to, to meet you. someone unless they were enthusiastic to meet me either. Well, uh, yeah. I, you see, I used to... F well, hmm. Okay, so the reason the reason, the reason, reason I'm not taking... That sounds very obviously <laughs> easy to agree with. But I think that I think that society has made everyone so... You, flaky, you think you can fix people now. That's where you're... No, 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 no. I think uh, society... I can made make her like me. It's it's people have, are so flaky that it's it's getting harder and harder to decide what's just the default inertia flakiness and what is people actually not being interested. So I think I, I give people a lot more grace when it comes to them being flaky because I think just the the level the Overton window of flakiness. Well, that, that's also because so you live in right London. Now. People are true. way more flaky. That's in true. London. That's true. London London is super flaky. That is fair. That's probably why I have to deal with this more. Here, I reinstate the idea <coughs> and ask her if she wants to meet up on Monday. She says she's free from Sunday till Tuesday. In the very oh, dude, wait. Do you know why this guy's a fucking bastard? If you're too shy to understand, <laughs> OMG, I'm so sorry for not responding. I've had a really crap couple of days and not really up to meeting. I'm so sorry. No response. He doesn't even go, yep. oh, that's a bummer. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, what's yeah, going he on? Goes, oh, he goes, goes, fuck you. Jesus fuck you. Christ. That's how he this goes is, after. This is so mean. This is but actually he throws really his phone on the bed and he punches the wall. He's like, fuck! God damn it! And he's <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> this bitch! <laughs> Her mother died right before I was about to fuck. God damn it! And then you like rage jokes off to the vase, the like the cum vase. That time vase waster. Is, uh, that vase. Time waster. It, that vase is filled to the brim with his masculine vril. It is it is just like yeah. it is topped up with semen. It's just the there. Meaning. He drinks. He drinks from it like a chalice every time he gets a date confirmed. It's a weird thing for a red pillar to own. It is well because I think red pillars are so superficial. He truly just saw ass and bought it. Probably, I think he. It's just I need I need some accoutrement of misogyny. Oh, a, a female ass, easy. Although it does it does kind <laughs> of imply the homoeroticism as well because like that could be yeah. a dude that could be a twink's butt. You don't know. Yeah, maybe Wait, he is. It just gay. seems like something to be in like a gay apartment. That's true. Actually, it's a very gay apartment kind of uh, thing. Freedom from work, Dishak. How you doing, buddy? Very next message, I say, how does Sunday or Monday at 2 p.m. sound? And then she just ignores me for the next two I need to, I need to hear his explanation for why he doesn't say anything. Then he just time. ignores me. <laughs> days, so the next two <laughs> then days, she just so ignores me. <laughs> April, that was when the message was sent, and then nothing yeah. for the next two days. So she agreed to the date, then she just ignores me for two days. No, she didn't. So two days later, she didn't agree to the message, date. And then in this All message, she said, said was she was free she's from Saturday till Tuesday. That's not agreeing to the yeah, date. Yeah, Jesus Christ. He's okay, jumped so many steps. The fact that he counted this as an actually agreed to plans... 
crazy. That means none of these girls actually agreed to plan. Wait, hold on. He's counting this in actually arranged plans? Yeah, that's what I mean. That's what, what? I mean. What? No, dude. No, that's bullshit. He's, he's Are you crazy? his numbers. He's fluffing his numbers. And this is, by the way, not only is he fluffing his numbers, let's let's recap. He has digitally edited his photos. He's face-tuned yep. the shit out of his photos, number one. Then he buys Tinder Platinum, number two. Number three, yep. he's using a brand new account to exploit the algorithm. And then he fluffs his fucking numbers at the end. Uh, but oh my god, dude, she didn't even confirm plans. This is insane. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, sorry, bro, my mom died. You rotten fucking bitch. How dare you? You agreed. <laughs> you agreed. Actually interested in meeting up. So she was only saying she was earlier for the sake of it. Another for the example, sake? He just doesn't explain that. <laughs> he just glosses over it. He doesn't even gloss over it. He just doesn't. Okay, hold on. Let's get. Let's have a look. All right, all right, all right let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Okay. Haha, <laughs> now. Nah. Haha, <laughs> nah, I like it, but I'm the youngest out of all my siblings. That's probably why. Really dark. I don't know what the fuck he said earlier. There's no way that's a good message. I Haha, <laughs> nah, I like it. All this is 43? What? Okay. Yeah, that's definitely an advantage being the youngest. You get the most attention. It's been great talking to you, Kaylee, today, and I'd really like to get to know you better. What is this? Is this a LinkedIn in mail message? Yeah. What is this? He copies and pasted it. You know that's copy and pasted. Any girl yeah. who reads that can tell he's copied and pasted that. It's crazy. If you fancy meeting for a coffee in the next couple of days, I'd be super excited. I know a fantastic place in Central Brom. Yeah, I think that would be nice. Sure, why not? You seem genuine and nice. You seem genuine. You seem genuine. Uh, I love this. Uh, you seem genuine and nice. And then it's just him, like, analyzing 4,000 Tinder messages for, like, Mac. Maximize, like, <laughs> you were so part funny. of my experiment. Exactly. Do you think he, he had like a really bad week on Tinder and he was like, to rationalize this, I'm going to make it seem like it was a big experiment yeah. where I was like Maybe. artificially trying. You know what? I love how this guy literally talks like he's a fucking LinkedIn recruiter. Look at this. Uh, it's been great talking to you. I'd really like to get you go better. Yeah, okay, that might be nice. She talks like a normal human. He's like, that's great. Glad you're on board. Would you like me to send you the documentation? Are you free Monday or Tuesday? <laughs> Maybe halfway through the afternoon to get past the lunchtime rush. Are you going to be able to take a call during lunchtime? <laughs> like, literally, like, this is just fucking recruiter shit. He's using... This is, this is, this is part of my grand theory that commercial sales and red pill dating are identical in literally the every same way thing. it's the exact same, the same thing. thing it's people who are like desperate for success looking for masculine gurus to tell them how to cold call or uh, make a bunch of money and get their lambo or how to convince a girl to fuck them like it's the exact same fucking shit dude it's crazy it's like one-to-one -one overlap it's very similar I ask her if she's fancy. I wonder how many unhinged moments he edits out the video where he came across as more of a weirdo. I I'm not gonna lie. I'm like I'm <laughs> half like an hour of staring into camera. I don't. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's like always sunny. You know that Dennis video of him just staring into yeah. the CCTV. <laughs> That's exactly hours. what I imagine. Yeah, he like he remembers he remembers his fury at this, and she just like stares unblinking for eight hours into the camera. <laughs> you just get the time lapse, and then you go to the next message, and then he just like reboots. <laughs> Software update. Okay, we're good to go. He's meeting up for a drink in the next couple of days, and then she says, "Yes, I think that would be nice. Sure, why not? You seem genuine and nice." I don't trust anyone who uses the Indian uh, programming tutorial uh, highlight on their cursor. I'm sorry. If you're not Indian, <laughs> I, 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 this is cultural appropriation. That highlight on your cursor, that's cultural appropriation. That's Indian culture right there. That you, you cannot take it away from the from the 400 episode Math uh, Indian, tutorials. Yeah, maths tutorial, Python tutorials. The true geniuses of our age. The only thing holding capitalism afloat is, is these free like programming tutorials with the little... With the little highlight cursor so i don't see a problem with, with do that do not take this on, on the surface that sounds really high investment that she wants to meet he up. does There's look like a young there, a little showing bit showing that she is down for the that idea however in the Dude, next message as soon as i wrong. start trying to arrange the logistics wait, wait, she just wait, 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 hold on. and there was no messages after this she just ignores it so this wait, was really wait. high investment that she wants to meet up actually interested wait what wait huh, what what i oh, sorry i missed this high investment okay hold on i'm gonna read this yeah. out in a girl's hold on let me let me do this for you okay yeah i think that would be nice sure why not you Why seem not? genuine and nice, so I don't see a problem with that. That's a, does high that sound high investment? That is the that's that two is, negative statements. That's in the a row. softest fucking close ever, dude. I dude, if someone if, described me as genuine and nice whilst we were on a dating app, I'd be like, okay, there's never. A I'd chance. be like, they're there's breaking, no they're breaking up with me, and I haven't even gone on a date with them yet. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've never called someone genuine and nice unless I had just fired them or broken up with them. Those are the only <laughs> times I've ever used that to describe someone to their face. Yeah, why not? 
<laughs> like really? Yeah, yeah, why not? That's I love yeah, uh, this yes. guy's. You know yes, what? Sir. Now, Wiz, I want you to. This is funny. Translate this to this man's understanding of enthusiastic consent, and it gets a real, real dark, no, real no. fast. Yeah, girl's like, no. I mean, I guess maybe. Great, I'm going straight in. No condom, all right? Let's go. You're very high investment tonight. <laughs> Clearly, you're invested you didn't heavily say in no me. four times. <laughs> you only said it three, three times. Time <laughs> the worst thing they can say is no, four times. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to meet up. There's three whole lines there showing that she is. Three whole lines. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's Bro. volume based. It's volume based. This is such a sales. This is so sales coded, dude. It's volume based. Volume based sales. Oh my god. What do you what do you mean I didn't make any money? I've got four hours of talk time on my. This on is my, the dictionary the definition of grasping at straws. This is crazy, dude. Jesus Christ, this is incredible. I'm too autistic for the segment. I'm sorry, Lonnie. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> you ask your questions and we will explain what the normies are doing. Okay. Yeah. I can... Do a cheeto. Do a cheeto and we'll explain I am whatever the, you want. I am the normie whisperer. Okay. I stand one leg in normie you have earned your cheeto credits that's true lottie lottie has access to cheeto levels of investment we are high investment in lottie right now yeah. <laughs> we will give you three lines Down these, the are, these are three However, lines of high in, investment in the next in the next message as soon as i start trying to arrange the logistics she just stops responding and there was no messages after this she just ignores it so this message here where she actually agreed to meet up you could tell it was just fake and she was just trying to be impolite and as it i said fake. this happened 13 oh out of the 22 L listen to that this guy's gay you can't hate women this much you can't find <laughs> you've come around you can't find pussy this vile and, <laughs> and not be homosexual i've only seen gay men talk about women in, in this tone actually like red pillars Usually red pillars will have like a Madonna whore complex, you know, like they'll they'll be like a woman is like flawless or she's a fucking, uh, you know, like a slut who's tempting. This guy, I read zero temptation. I read zero libido. I read zero sexual interest in any of these women. He's well, he doesn't truly talk about just how attractive any of them are either. Yeah, you know, he he's say... literally no, he does. Do you remember the only thing he did is like obviously I'm not going to date below a five. These are all fives and sixes. Literally how does he just like rate it. Uh, oh, he's like going off someone else's criteria it? of what is attractive. He's no, not no, 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 this is the uh, no you've missed this guy literally has a whole website where he's created an objective framework for measuring people's faces and rating them on the track he's not that's my point though he uses a mathematic model he doesn't base it off his own internal feelings. no yeah i agree i agree but i mean yeah, this is what that's that's the thing he's had to literally like this man has had to build a mathematical theory to convince himself to fuck women. <laughs> um, Lou is asking why someone is genuine is bad, and the Take reason them. genuine is bad. Genuine is not a bad compliment. However, in this cat, like in this setting where it's supposed to be dating and like yeah. a very early on thing, it's like it's like a placeholder nicety. It doesn't really mean anything. She doesn't know him well enough to determine that he's genuine or not. You know, yes. clearly he's not genuine. Yeah. Um, it's just like something nice and genuine are interchangeable there. They mean the same thing. It's a very placeholder nicety where it's like, you are vaguely positive. I don't yeah. see a problem with meeting you. It's not enthusiastic. It's not like, wow, you seem really cool. You seem really chill. Yeah. You seem like fun to be around. It's yeah. just like super placeholder. If I, if I say that you're genuine, or another word like this is authentic, all I'm saying is that you exist. That's it. And you're not deceptive, right? Like, that's such a low-level compliment. It's literally like, I'm not telling, I'm not saying anything you've done is good. I'm saying, I'm basically saying, imagine if I said, well, you are what you are. <laughs> like, that wouldn't really be... That wouldn't really be a great compliment, right? Yeah. I'm just saying you exist. Well, you're, you're, you, you, you have exist. eyes and ears. You, you're real. You, you, you know, you genuinely have a face. Lots of people are deceptive, though. Yes, but in normal, this is this is. Auto, I'm gonna. Is her, but it, but it, she doesn't mean literally genuine, though. No, though. I can explain. It's this, not about the word. It's wait, just wait. like her trying to find a word that's vaguely positive. It's like so, saying you are good and nice. She doesn't so, mean genuine as its actual meaning. Yeah. Also, Lottie, it's worth keeping in mind that in in normie to normie conversation. Um, a, a common thing is to assume in your language, maybe not in your own head, but in your language, you'll use words that indicate that you don't think they're a bad person, right? So you're like not assume it, you're assuming that their intentions are good because it's easier to kind of bail out of a conversation or not make someone feel bad if you just, if you say things about them that are, um, 
that are perceived to be true unless they're a bad person right like if i'm if you think game theory right if i say you don't seem genuine that's very hurtful and if they are genuine that's that f makes them feel very bad and if they aren't genuine then you're accurate right but in both cases like you've either made a bad f person feel bad or you've made a good person feel bad right whereas if i say you feel genuine you seem genuine a person who's genuine will feel good, right? So that person feels good. And a person who's deceptive will feel bad because they're not being genuine. So the intent is if they're not genuine, you make them feel bad because you're highlighting that they're lying to you. And if they are genuine, then they feel good because you're calling them genuine. Does that make sense? So if there's like a matrix grid of like all the possible outcomes, if I call you genuine, I only have a chance of making a good person feel good or a bad person feel bad. If I call you not genuine, then there's a chance of making a bad person feel bad or a good person feel bad, right? So game theory, most people socially will just call each other genuine. And this applies to a lot of things. Does that make sense, Lottie? Yeah, you, over, you overcooked that. No, I didn't! I didn't! Sure. Fuck you! Uh, ah! Also, check the link. Check ah! the link that Bong sent in uh, Twitch chat. Oh, God. Oh, check no. This Twitch link. chat. Twitch chat. That's that's where the autists really live, all right? That's where they're, that's where they're fucking cooking. Where's this? I can't find Twitch uh, chat. Cheeto, we did mention your name. We said uh, Lou has earned Cheeto credits to ask questions about something yes. she doesn't understand. Wait, what, where's this link that Bong sent me? Just send it to me in Discord, you fucking animal. What's wrong with you? You want me to uh, scroll okay, through Discord. fucking Twitch chat to find a link in cell.tech? Oh, bong. Had... I thought you said bonk. Oh, I've seen this. I've oh, seen bong. this. Yeah. I tried to I tried to upload Smugbug, my, my Smugbug avatar, and it denied it, unfortunately. <laughs> I tried Let's to get it to I face... I tried to get it to face rate me, and it didn't work. Wait, should we... Face wait, wait, what? Wait, wait. Face what? Fa face... <laughs> You know what? Wait, wait, wait. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Let's face rate this guy. Let's see if this guy holds up. What does Incel Tech say about wheat waffles? Let's let's run it. Let's run the numbers. We'll get the we'll get the authentic. Yep. Let's have a look here. I think I can do this. The latest advancement in Incel technology. Man, these guys really have done a lot of cooking. Like technology. <laughs> I, I will say the technological prowess of Incels is 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 truly inspiring. Like I, I do I do I do rate that. I face I programmers. Fa I face right. That it is all lonely programmers, yeah. All right, I'm uploading this. We're gonna see. Let's have a look here. Where is it in downloads? Where the fuck did this go? Oh, I'm gonna. You you do it. I'm lazy. I'm, I'm gonna watch the video. I'm gonna do my job while you play with the new toy. I'm, I'm rating my own face. The final example. Stop rating your own face. All right. Literally one scroll up. DJ Addy. What? What? This one again is the exact same. I'd still be interested in meeting if you are. Oh, here we go. How does tomorrow or Friday at 1 p.m. work with your schedule? I'm actually heading home tomorrow for a wedding and I'm not back till Monday. Oh, that's a shame. I'd still be interested in meeting if you are. Definitely. Fantastic. Glad you're on board. I hate that he says glad you're on, on board. Boarding. That's so on weird. Boarding. It's so weird. Shall we pencil in? Pencil in! Pencil in. Also, also when you say pencil in, that means, that means soft plans as well. Yes, it does. But yeah, I don't think so he's that's... clever enough to realize that. But he probably doesn't understand Pencil that. Pencil in so it can be rubbed out. Obviously, it's a week away, but it would be great to... And then she replies in the same formal language. I'll have a look at my timetable. Let's see when I'm free. Maybe he's found he's, the one. She's definitely, she's definitely taking the piss saying that. She is, yeah. This is... this is. He's autistic. Maybe he's autistic. That would... <laughs> like, how do you not understand it? Lottie, Lottie, you might... <laughs> you... <laughs> maybe... <laughs> maybe you should... You should help translate our advice to this guy next. Like, let's, let's, let's human centipede this dating advice down back to Wheat Waffles. So, do you have some ideal dates? Oh my god, he didn't realize he doesn't even have argument. a suggestion. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, yeah. I thought he was, he said the plan and then afterwards he was penciling in a time. He's trying to get a time commitment before a plan. Jesus Christ. You know what's fine? Hold on, once again, all you need to do is read this out loud. Let's try this, okay? Shall we pencil in something for Tuesday or Wednesday in now then? Obviously, it's a week away, but it would be great to get something down at the moment. I'll have a look at my timetable and see when I'm free. <laughs> do you have a date? I, I, so I am baffled dude. he didn't have the plan first. Look, insane, you cannot dude. make a date unless you have the plan first. The date is secondary. He's that tripping is, yeah, He's tripping that's over himself. That's true. You're right, actually. Yeah, why is he focusing on timing instead of location or like... There's no... The, but of course he's not going to get a committed answer. He's not, he's not yeah. offered what it is. Because when he does offer, it's going to be something like, come over to my apartment. 
Yeah, part of the part of the fucking because he's trying to he's trying to find out that she's free. She's if she commits yeah. to being free on a certain day, he says come over, and then she has to come up with another excuse as to get out of it now. Yeah, this is a man who's trying to sell a product without telling you the price or what the product yeah. is. <laughs> like, wait, what? You need to listen. It is annoying that as a man we have to be the ones to plan shit, but you do have to like offer something, right? You have to like say, oh, I know a good coffee. Like he did do this one time, but like you know you have to offer some kind of like fun thing to do like that is kind of part of your responsibility as the man i guess, I guess in exchange for the gender pay gap or some shit <laughs> i don't <laughs> know why text with, thank you for your compliance is so funny. <laughs> thank you for your compliance yeah well she says definitely as in yes 100 percent. no think- stop dude what I, oh my god Fantastic. i hate glad this guy glad you're on board I, uh, we I need to play the game the is he gay or autistic Tuesday or wednesday both. He says, I'll have a look at my timetable to see when I'm free. And then he just stops responding again. So it's no, he didn't, he didn't even read it correctly. He didn't know she was taking the piss. <laughs> you see, now, I could have, even I could have recovered from this. You just take the piss off the piss. Like, you just, even if you fucked up to this extent, if you just, you just lean into the funny corpo speak and half the women will find that funny. Like, if she's saying words You're like so timetable. You're so London coded. You're dude, so I am. London-coded. I am. And you know what? I get more bitches than you, okay? Is it purely based on population density? Perhaps. And yet! <laughs> <laughs> the same sort of idea. And 13 out of the 22... You just talk about activities until you both go, yo! And there's what you're going to do on your date. Yeah, I kind of agree, actually. That's not yeah. bad advice. Yeah, that's pretty solid. Some yeah. sounding. That's yeah. an activity. <laughs> so, why did you bring up sounding unprompted? To sound out the, what you would like. That's not... Do you know what sounding is? Uh, no, what's that? Please explain it. Please, are you really going to make me explain sounding? You know what it is. Shut the fuck Please, up, I've you little, no, never heard you of little, that, dude. What you is little sound? freak. Sound? You little freak. You little freak. Shut the fuck up. Sounding? Women do this, roughly two thirds. I ended up sending a follow-up uh, a couple of days later and nothing ended up happening from it. Anyway, without letting oh my myself get too bitter, so dumb. I still ended up getting Why is he so dumb, days, dude? Which I was quite happy with. I think that is a good result as an average guy for Tinder, and I genuinely wasn't expecting that to get that level of results in up. those seven days. However, this is hey, probably Saxon, the most important part of it, because it's all well and good. Oh. I'm sure a lot of you guys are on the same page, getting nine dates, a decent amount of quantity, but what about the quality? It wouldn't make any difference. Oh. It wouldn't help if these nine dates were uh, unattractive or undateworthy material. Well, this is where the next part of the video comes oh, in. Oh, no! So, I've compiled all of the Ooh. nine dates, no! the screenshots of them wanting to meet up. Sexual pictures. market value, let's go. I love, I love, I love that to me. I love, I, yeah, I know. I, I've i been talking about sexual market value for two years. It's my favorite term. Yeah, but I'll listen to you, dude. I will, I will literally, do you know, on every day, I think I probably talked about sexual market value on every day I've had. <laughs> it's such a funny concept. The girls love it. They love it. They love learning about sexual market value. It's so funny. They love it, and then they until they find out their sexual market value, and they hate it. <laughs> yeah, true. You know what? Actually, I'm remembering. There have been there have been fully oh shit. There have been fully two dates in the last two weeks where I started excitedly talking about red pill stuff, and then I realized slightly too late that the girl wasn't sure whether I was, like, a red pill guy or whether I was just making fun <laughs> of red pill guys, and I had to, like, hard pivot into, like, left-wing shit so that they, they clocked my actual positions. Because I was like, I'm just, I talk about this shit so excitedly. It's so funny. It's so exciting. I love, I love watching people like, just build complete cathedrals of mythology to insane ideological like schizo religious posting it's so good oh it's so fucking good material well this is where the next part of the video comes in so i've compiled all of the nine dates i'm the so excited the screenshots to see of this them wanting to meet up. <laughs> oh pictures, god uh, you have no idea Wiz, i'm fucking buzzing picture right now. You know? picture mv yeah! purity everything like that dock some women for us let's go of these dates i was getting from tinder we'll start with the first one so this was amber the girl from the thumbnail you can see and she was probably the most attractive date that i managed to arrange see she was about seven out of ten i would say in terms of seven looks. out of ten she was quite flaky it took 3.5 <laughs> days to arrange the date oh and in that God. time i only sent 15 messages so you know that's only about three do you four, think five you put the green days. tick next to her name because they went on a date oh that's a system dude you got it Holy. that's so funny that is Holy. so funny. That's literally how he keeps track. This guy has a fucking CRM. Purity? What does purity mean? Wait, where's purity? Mid? Next to oh the my God. market value. It's the number, it's the number of, uh, it's probably the, like, the, how much of a whore she is. How would he get that data? 
I think he'd date. have to. I think. I think he's. I think he's probably estimating based on like how many dates she's been on and stuff. It's probably how much she smiles about. during the date. It's part of the. It's part of the onboarding documentary. She's really enjoying this date. No, her purity fucking is low. Way, <laughs> babe. Did you get me Temple of Satan? Babe, is that a milkshake? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? I got you a donut. Oh my god! Ah, oh, what? He's not eating. He's oh my god! I haven't eaten. You know I haven't eaten. Oh my god, baby, <laughs> I love you. This is Temple of Satan. I really don't feel like I've earned yeah, this. For all the way from, all the way from babe. I don't. How am I supposed to deal with this? You can't. I He's thought. Cry. I am gonna cry. I thought you were mad at me. <laughs> oh, baby, you're so sweet. I love you. Wait, one of them is mine. One of them's yours. You can have whatever you want, obviously, because you did all the work. Oh my god. Tell, gosh, uh, was... tell Ladybug she looks stunning tonight. You look focus. stunning tonight. Focus. Huh? I focus on stream. I'm trying, but you brought me delicious food and I love you. Wait, which one of these is mine? Wiz has been begging me to eat all night. You have no idea. I've been so <laughs> schizophrenic. Uh, You've just saved this stream single-handedly, babe. I don't remember. I think I got you the temple something. Temple? No. Oh my god. I will build you a temple, baby. All right. I That's Riz, by the way, guys. There you go. There's your Whoa. There's your lesson for the day. Whoa. Okay. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna start eating. Lady and crying. Bike had eating the eating real and crying pill strategy. Eating and crying and simping all at once. Buy buy food. Baby. That's the real red so pill. That's strategy. the real that's the real red pill. See how easy it is for women. Look at this man concoct four thousand ways to try and get a woman to fuck him, and then and then look at what a woman has to do. Just goes to your favorite restaurant and pick up food that you had no idea you wanted. Well, you're starving to death. I love you, baby. Thank you. Mm. Oh my god, these chips are so good. <gasps> Babe, did you intentionally get me a vanilla milkshake to dip my chips into? Ugh. It's Ugh. Biscoff? Wait, uh, did, you, did you understand the potential that was going to happen here of dipping? No, but you should. Okay, I love you. Thank you so much. I'm going to dip. Do it. I'm going to dip my chips into vanilla milkshake. Whoa. I just dropped Ugh. I just dropped all my chips on the floor. Never mind. It's all over. It's so over. It's so over. We were so back and now it's so over. Remember, remember, hey Oscar, remember when this was a really good segment and then it just got fucking sidetracked into chippies? Remember that? <laughs> remember? This is the easiest thing in the world to cut out, dude. You really? Okay, I'm gonna cut you. Right, let's go. Whoa. In terms of, in terms of purity, I would say a medium. Uh, she had a couple race. Oh, okay, I'm gonna add a bit more advice, all right? I'm gonna give you some genuine advice. Are you ready? This is genuine red pill level exploitative strategic advice. High levels of success. On anyone who says that they're genu uh, that they're new to, to, to a dating app. High levels of success. Mm. Because they haven't been overwhelmed and they haven't had their brain destroyed. Yeah, they don't know how awful an evil yeah. man can be yet. Exactly, exactly. They haven't been ruined by most men yet. So now, unfortunately, this is a strategy yeah, I'm their offering. Purity that is, is still high. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Oh no! We just figured out purity. It's like how many <laughs> how many red pillars have already abused this woman enough that, that she's gonna call on calling on to my strategy? Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Just fifteen messages sent. That's, that's not um no actually that that is pretty that is pretty low. I think I do a lot. Meeting I a will... man after fifteen messages, the girl that's... has a death sentence. Uh, that, see, that's why her purity is mid because because she's living clearly... in Birmingham and meeting in a man after fifteen messages. Yeah, you're gonna get stabbed, Whoa. dude. Oh my god! All right, you're gonna have to carry Whoa. this a little bit while I fill my face with burger. Oh my god, I love. My let me wife pause. So let me pause. See outfits in the photo. Do nothing too extreme. Her. And just to give you guys a quick explanation of what I'm talking about when I mention. Sorry, what was that, babe? <laughs> Example of very low purity and all what? through your 18 year olds. Bro. Oh, what? No, what? Low purity? Well, I, I'm glad he explained what pu purity is. But you know what? I fully I fully understand what he means Why? by purity now. I told you how what? It, it's Goths? just. Goths? It's just, no, it's just how whorey they are. That's it. That's just his personal vibe of how much of, how much of a whore they are. Anyone who's got like. But they just dress like Goths. Yeah, but that the the gods is it are whores. dyed hair, dyed hair, painted nails, and piercings. It's, is that it's it's alternative? Yeah, it's basically how alternative they are. <laughs> Purity. It's oh, basically a measure dear. of how much relationship material a given girl is. <laughs> and this example I've got on the screen now is the very opposite of that. So this is an example of very low purity. This is what you don't want to be bringing home to your parents and is not relationship material. What? You can just see she's got like the dyed pink hair, piercings. Yeah, Literally! Can, can, she's fuck a girl without parents' approval. Mum and dad I need find to sign it, off. I find it so funny. That, oh yeah, that's another gay thing as well. This is a low level beard. 
this is not going to successfully. <laughs> yeah, this, this is, dude, yeah. very unconvincing. Very unconvincing, yeah. I I love that you were just like, oh yeah, it's just because they got pink hair. And then he literally goes, the pink hair, the piercing. Like, it is literally just that simple. <laughs> I was really expecting him to go, this is an example of a woman who's probably been in more relationships, who's probably going to be more difficult to deal with, could have mental health. He's just like, nah, pink hair, piercings, <laughs> tattoos. That's it. It's that simple. The it's idea of purity, and they're all like literal children, eighteen years old. <laughs> yeah, and that's incredibly low. Purity. It's really upsetting. <laughs> yeah, this 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 whore is done. She's wasted. She's over. She's been run through. It's over for her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, a bit extravagant outfits, uh, like painted black nails, just things like that. You can just tell oh, it's you not relationship nails. material based on wow. these photos. This is all the same girl, by the way. It's the same girl. She's got different dyed hair color in each one. It's the same Another girl. Example, again, not relationship yeah. material. Don't break my heart. Why? Break What's my bed instead. Like no. Oh no! Oh. Look at this. That's just a joke. A uh, woman with a sense of humor, incredibly low purity, dude. I, you know what they're testing for? Once again, they're testing for how easily they can be coerced by mainstream yes, yeah. uh, masculinity and patriarchy, right? Like women who... No! Dude, I've dropped these chips four times. I've lost like a quarter of everything. What's in... going on with you? They're really Focus on the main meal and then you'll be able to eat the, the things you're that are right, harder to right, get you're in your right, mouth. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, fine. Fuck, shit, holy shit, fuck. Sorry. I'm I'm falling apart here, babe. Jesus Christ! I'm trying to I'm trying to do my day job. Ooh, guy, like no guy <laughs> is going to be wanting to wife up a girl with this in her bio. And one more example. But she this literally was... looks Toilet. like a fucking triathlon. <laughs> Come on, baby. Yeah, I know, dude. That's rough. I can't it's ditch so them weird. and come hang out with you. I'm sorry, baby. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know you got me food to try and like convince me <laughs> to hang out with you. Now I see the ul now I see the ulterior motives. I understand. I thought you did this out of love, but you did this as a bribe, so I'd ditch Wiz. Fine, you yeah, it's can Wiz have time. him tonight. Alright. <laughs> She's giving you permission, dude. It's all it's just me and you, baby. Alright, no one else. My eyes are just on you. Listen, I know I, I know I'm non-monogamous, alright, but tonight you're the only you're you're the only one in my life, okay, Wiz? Alright? It's just me and Whoa. you, baby. Your purity is very low, dude. Ow! Ow! No, wait, give me my burger! No, no, take it! I'm sorry. It was probably Jesus the Christ. worst profile I saw. Out of all the eighteen hundred profiles that I saw and I swiped on. That's the worst dirty, profile. Dude. That they are dirty. That that is low purity. Toilets are stinky. Yeah, but also, I, I, it's insane to me that like that just that about me is too far. When she literally looks so trad con coated, coded, like she's he even does, got the he doesn't like tails. girls that have a sense of humor. That's he doesn't no like purity, he doesn't like girls that enjoy sex as well. That's probably that's probably a hard hard no. It's a bad because he doesn't enjoy sex. He doesn't want to be with someone who's like less gay than him. That would make him feel bad in the bedroom. <laughs> He wants he wants someone who's uh, as unaroused by you know he what it is. Clo he needs a closeted woman. <laughs> no, I, actually, you know what he needs he needs a woman who um who uh, is attracted to women because then the average level of people attracted to women in that room will be high enough to have sex. <laughs> <laughs> this was probably the worst of the lot. The girl is literally sitting on a toilet, which seems to be a festival, and all guys in the UK know how festival girls are, for the most part, in terms of their dateableness. They don't have the best track records. Uh, so she's on a toilet. What? She looks to be drunk what? or so, passed I'm out sorry, or like, like that. She's with her every girl in the UK has probably been to a festival. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but festival girls, it's when they, it's when they tell you that they've been to a festival. Yeah, they've been ran through by like five bands. It's all <laughs> over. <laughs> every girl that went to the festival. True. He yeah, had, I think it's a, it's, it comes down to like the idea of cleanliness. She had mud really up to her is. ankles. This guy's definitely gay. He's so gay. I, you've really convinced me. Yeah, he's this guy's a hundred percent gay. The way he's she like so disgusted. It's like I already have to grip my teeth every time I see a pussy in real life. Uh, the fact that I know that this pussy has been anywhere near a festival is like that's that's too far for me. I can't do it. <laughs> Mates, and they decided to take a photo and then upload that to their Tinder profile. So it just looks ridiculous. I feel like the liberals have no idea what traditional conservative is. Okay, hold on. Did I say? Oh, I'm getting gracked again, dude. <laughs> did, I, did I say? Did I? Say, I'm getting grackled so hard right now. Did I say tradcon or did I say tradcon coded? Right, Ooh. I was just commenting on the fucking the fucking pigtails thing. I've seen a million Christian women with that fucking hairstyle. Shut the fuck up, dummy. Hint: They aren't online dating. You are a midwit. Is a really it would be a high level compliment for you. <laughs> that's the that's the highest you can aspire to be. Um, I would never in a million years swipe on a girl who's got photos like this. It's completely bonkers. And <laughs> to to it all off, this actually annoyed me when I saw this in the profile. 
This was the worst yeah. bio I've ever seen. You will never catch me messaging first. Oh my god. Kissing face. It's just baffling. So she's got this horrendous photo of he her on the toilet. And then she's so got the audacity to try and say, you will never catch me messaging first. She thinks she's such high value that you're going to have to be the one to chase me, not the other way around. She thinks that she's on her throne on the toilet here. But and if he did, mes she she did message him her. first, he would not like it either. Anyway, anyway, that's what I'm talking about when I mentioned purity. Well, also, also... He definitely messages every single girl here first, right? Like, there's no doubt yes, that he's messaging first. Absolutely. So, like, he's mad that she's right is the worst part. <laughs> like, she has a correct assessment of the field and he doesn't. Yeah. But he, he doesn't, doesn't like yeah. being addressed with the reality of it. Yeah. He wants the idea free... of him in control. Where she takes control when she says, when she states what it actually is, she's in the position of power. Whereas he doesn't like that, right? He likes the idea of being the go-getter. He doesn't like being told to be the go-getter because it makes him subservient. That's what it's actually about. I agree, but also I just did a burger swap with my girlfriend. Oh my god, that's so spicy. Holy shit. <laughs> it's really good. Wow, but I wasn't expecting it to be that spicy. You kind of fucked me. Oh Bonk, wait, I've got a milkshake. Do you hate this guy's voice because he sounds like you? Is that <laughs> you That's true, yeah. Mm. Wallace and Gromit maxing. Oh my god, that's so spicy. The sexual market value of this woman. <laughs> <laughs> I Look what she wrote in her yeah. bio. You'll never catch me messaging first. The audacity. <laughs> oh my god, that's so spicy. What the fuck? I really, I never really came out of fucking nowhere. Jesus. Sorry. That's okay. Oh my god, I got fucking blasted, dude. Jesus. I didn't what even flavor practice. is it? What flavor is it? I, I think it's, I think it's like a, it's like a buffalo chicken thing with like a super spicy like sauce on top of it. Yeah, it's damn. Oh. It's hot. Yeah? Nah, no, it's the sauce that fucking cucked me. God damn. Mm. Pretty. Uh, this was the first date. Now moving on to the second one. This was Bella, oh. who I would say was also a 7 whoa, out of 10 whoa, whoa. in terms of SMB. 7 she out of 10. Oh, accent, and this was the first message she sent. And I can tell straight away. Accent. And you'll see a few more Oh shit, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. The reason yeah. he got this date is because she's not used to English guys. True. Just assumed that's yeah, what British I... guys are like. Weird and uh, off putting. Obtuse. Yeah, there's like a yeah, there's absolutely. Look, again, hi Sam. I have to admit, you look like Prince Harry when I saw your picture. Oh, Bruh. oh Bruh. no, no. Her, her yeah, so when a woman standards are artificially, are artificially low because he's uh, British and she's French. Yeah, yeah. This is this is. It's so easy to pick up foreign girls. It's crazy. Like there's this <laughs> right, right, babe, right. <laughs> no, nah, don't worry about it. It's fine. Um. But yeah, they they have no idea what the fuck the like the norms are. So you can be weird and off-putting in the first few dates, and they probably won't recognize that. They'll just assume it's because you're British. And then it's only like eight years into a long-term relationship they realize that you have full-blown schizophrenia and you talk to a frog every Monday night. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Time to arrange thirty hours and messages sent ninety-eight. Whoa. Both metrics are super low. However, one's in the red and one's in the orange. They're both bad. He rates Wait. them as bad. Wait, sorry, I thought, okay, sorry, I read 30 hours as invest, invested time, not... No, 30 hours since match. Oh, oh, that's super low. Yeah, yeah, it usually takes me like, I don't know, like three days. And 98 messages, but he's ranked both those stats as low and bad. Weird. God, how are you, how are you arranging that? You see, okay, well, I guess we're, we're not filtering just for, um, we're not filtering for statistically maximizing sex. We're filtering for people who are like actually interesting, you know, like people you actually like will get on with. So I think I think we probably. Well, he's not even filtering. he's not even doing that. He's just filtering for anybody that will meet him, so he has a stat to talk about in his video. You don't think he's? So it literally could just be like, let's just go for a walk. Do you not think he's optimizing to fuck people? I think he's still optimizing to fuck. No, people. I don't think he is. I don't think he is. He's I think optimizing he for valid. He's, he's optimizing trying for validation. To. He's, he's validation he's trying to. I think he's he's optimi I, optimizing any meeting because he thinks for whatever yeah. reason that if he meets a person that's it completely locked in. Uh, what right. would actually be interesting is that I wonder how many of these girls he actually managed to seal the deal with and I'm probably going to guess zero. Um, he's a fucking sales guy, dude. That's literally, that's literally it like... It's artificial. There's no closing yeah. here. This that's is like when you book in... in uh, I don't know if you ever had this in a sales job where you book in I a bet. demo... Yeah, all he's yeah, doing yeah. is booking in demos. He's booking None in of these demos. Are sales. 
This is this is a reference literally only you and me will understand though. <laughs> <laughs> this is London tech bro shit, and, and Wiz Wiz lived the whole Wiz experienced the whole up and down of a London tech bro career in like six months, and then fucked off back yeah. out of London. He he got the he got the the full highs and lows all within like half a year, and then I just did it on two times to, speed. Yeah, two x speed tech bro, one hundred percent complete completion up to being fired <laughs> which is yeah. how it always I ends. made it all the way up the chain then got fired oh man mentions that you're something related to their type the chance that they will be invested and compliant in the uh conversation later on and be willing to meet up goes up mm. dramatically it's literally a 10x chance uh, of a woman being compliant wanting to meet up if she compliments you on your appearance in the first message <laughs> so she said i need this man to stop using you know the what? phrase compliant it's terrifying the only the only time i've heard compliant uh, this is like a, a whiz tangent for real yeah. um compliant is the term that they use in warhammer when the empire <laughs> of man invades and takes <laughs> over a world they bring it into compliance that's what oh, they call is, it. Oh, Instead of colonization, it's bringing it into compliance. This is this is the empire of man that we're looking at right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, 40k, more like 40k swipes on Tinder. <laughs> yeah. Make the screen well, a little bigger. Make the screen a little bigger so people can read the stats. Oh, fuck you. Fine. Have it so it's almost poking my eyeball. Wow! Yeah, but it doesn't go in the waterfall. It breaks the aesthetic. We'll make Wiz. the water. We'll make the, the water aesthetic. Wall there. Oh wait, wait. Is it, uh, you know why it ah. doesn't fit? It's because I forgot to go to reaction waterfall. Hang on, there we go. <laughs> there we go. That's bigger. You know oh, what I've noticed this stream though. I've learned something important, which is that if chat is on your side of the screen, I never read it, and if it's on my side of the screen, I read it because I'm always staring at me because I'm the funnier one. Why are you looking at your chat? I'm always looking. It's below my butt. Normally, but then it's above 40 gay. Oh, destroyed. Bonk wins again. Bonk got me back. I thought you looked a bit like Prince Harry when I saw your profile pictures of her. You've probably heard that before as well. This girl's purity was very high. You can tell by the photos. She's just a normal looking, sweet girl. There's no extravagant what? racy pictures where she's showing a lot of skin or anything like that. She just oh looks like God. a you know, normal type of person. As for the next one, she's French. Of course, she's not. In fact, next three days. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah! Wait, she's the lowest purity! She's French, dude! Oh no! <laughs> she's the most degenerate! Holy fuck, that's so funny. You know, okay, hold on. I was actually, I was reading an article by a woman who, there, there's this book that came out, um, I was, I was reading an article in The Guardian, you know, as, as you do, um, uh, in my, my daily newspaper. And there's a, a woman wrote a book about, like, open marriages and polyamory. It's, like, a very normy book about, like, a, you know, it's trying to, like, mainstreamify, like, polyamory and, like, open marriages and stuff. And she said that she literally couldn't sell the rights to her best-selling book in France because it was so, like, milk toast. Like, the fact that, like, you're, you're married and you're <laughs> fucking a million people. The French were just like, uh-huh, so what? <laughs> yeah, they didn't give a shit. They, she literally couldn't sell the rights to the book <laughs> in France because they didn't fucking care. They were like, yeah, that's, oh that's, just, that's just normal. That's, 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 our, that's our fucking Saturday. Apparently, I've gotten louder from switching the screen. That's almost definitely true. <laughs> How? How is that possible? Wait, let me check, let me check, let me check. Hold on. You're the worst, uh, dude. You're the worst. So, wait, you did get louder, but the, the but the bars don't change. That makes no sense, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> you have You're using louder. the bars for reference? The values? It, it, it's inexplicable. It's inexplicable, dude. Wait, hold on. It's because I'm closer, because the thing's closer. Minus 7.5, minus 7.5. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, whatever. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, you're closer to the well, screen, we that's won't, why. We you're closer to the screen, that's the problem. Yeah. Yes. Right. <laughs> the next two days, sorry, uh, that I've got lined up were all Asian girls. And this was probably the most impressive of the lot, because... If okay, Asian girls, I'm going to say it. Um, wait, no, should I say it? Never mind. Forget I said anything. <laughs> we take a little time to... No, but one of the reasons these guys fetishize Asian girls, I think everyone knows this, is because they they are often they coming from, from higher yeah higher patriarchy, uh, higher collectivism, and also um, less willing to like speak up if something is wrong. This is this is especially true um, in places like Japan. Where like you you have to imply things are wrong. There's, they're very high context cultures, so it's a lot of like implying something is wrong, and then when they get when they meet the like immovable the, the unstoppable force of a schizo patriarchy like you know red pillar, they can kind of just bludgeon through because they're they're, yeah. they're culturally you know incentivized to not uh, speak up if something's wrong. So that's how that's how bad things happen. 
See the lives in an all-female apartment? There's one of two reasons why he's marked that as green. Number one, he thinks he could fuck all the other girls there, or the, all the other girls would Once like, again, wait, 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 once again, or sales, number two, sales, referrals, yep. referrals. <laughs> referrals, or number two, number two, there is no male threat it's in It's definitely house. that, yeah, I think it's definitely the male threat, but I like, I like the referrals, like, I think he's literally like, oh, that's good, do you have, <laughs> Wait, he's like, if she doesn't like me, other... refer me to one of your pals, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Sales, dude, it's all sales conversion. It's so fucked up that Asian is in green. <laughs> it's a lighter green as well. It's not the same like positive dark green. It's like it's it's you know it's a, it's a bonus, but it's nothing nothing crazy. Fifty one <laughs> minutes exclamation mark! Oh my god! In fifty six messages, Jesus Christ! See, this is what I can't do. I do not live yeah. text people. I I am too busy. I'm too famous. I'm too rich. I'm too powerful to live text anyone. I don't live text fucking anyone. No one gets live text from me. Jesus, that's insane to me. I hate that idea. Except in Discord, where I will live text all day. <laughs> where where I, will, I will scream at people about fucking dogs. But I'm never going to live text someone on WhatsApp. Yeah. If we take a look at the time to arrange, 51 minutes. I am not joking. So if we just take a look at the screenshot here, you can see 9.59. He used it already? There was actually one before. Wait, let me, let me, I'll, hold on. Let me, um. Uh, this is oh. artificial. It's not actually 51 minutes. It's Wait, 51 what? minutes from when she replied. How uh, long what? was he hanging? On well, their initial message. He triple texted and he blacked it out so we couldn't see his big L. Jesus Christ. Well, okay, hold on. If you're too shy, I'd understand. Hi, actually, it's been a long time since I last checked this app. So sorry for late replying. It's fine. I'm easy. Okay. Uh. To be honest, I have no online dating experience via this app. Yep. 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 Makes sense. Yep. Really? No Goes way. Back to the Where are you from? Hmm, what do you think? Oh, I hate it when bitches talk. There's no good answer yeah, to this. Guess where I'm girl, from. Guess where I'm from. from. I'm first not a racist. All, I don't know. I'm not going to make all, a racist confirmed guess. midwit. Secondly, I am, for some reason, very good at it. So I always look like an insane Nazi. Because I'm like, yeah, from your brain pan and from the shape of your ears. I think you probably come from, like, the Siberian haplo group. And they're like, no one ever guesses where I'm from. And I'm like, Yeah. I'm racist. <laughs> yeah. I just, I somehow, I think probably, it's probably like a British genetic thing where like, I'm just really good at identifying different genetic groups because I know which ones I control and which ones I don't. I think I'm like East India trained in company coded. Which you, which ones you can best uh, take into compliance. Exactly. I'm like, wait, do I, uh, do uh, do you come from a Commonwealth land? Do I, do I own you in some capacity? Do I, through a shell company, do I control all of like your universities and government still? Swedes are good at that too? That makes sense, because you guys also did some fucked up shit. Ignore that, I did send a follow-up, uh, but from this message on, she started responding immediately, every single time, extremely compliant, 9.59, till ah! when she agrees to the date, <laughs> at 10.50, <laughs> the like same day, so we went from opening message like to closing dog. the date oh, in 51 minutes. I was very impressed. I was very impressed. I need this man to go to prison today. I was very <laughs> impressed with her. I mean, the, the, the best thing, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, it's dark, but I'm gonna, look, I... Uh, Never let it be said that Smugbug wasn't real with you guys, okay? This man <laughs> needs to go to prison for rape, and only then will he be happy, because he'll be surrounded by the men he's always been attracted to. That's really his only... That's the that's the good ending for this guy. He's going to rape someone, go to prison, and then finally understand himself sexually. I thought you meant like a preemptive imprisonment. No, I, I did originally, but there's no way... This guy's going to get away with it at least once, unfortunately. The way no. he says compliant, yeah, fucking hell. Yeah, Your Honor, wow, she was compliant the whole time. <laughs> your Honor, your Your Honor, she complied. She had, she gave me enthusiastic time. compliance. Yeah. <laughs> you have ten seconds to comply. <laughs> 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 you have five seconds to comply. <laughs> please drop. disrobe. You have ten <laughs> yeah, seconds to get please. under compliance. Yeah, please drop the panties. Drop the panties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting, your purity is too low. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> low purity detected. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, I've got, hey, I've got a sick ass Robocop poster like right above my desk because, of course, I do. I believe you. Yeah, I fully so believe cool. you. It's the best Robocop poster that you will ever see in your life, I guarantee it. It's like a sick ass limited. Oh, it's so good, dude. It's, it's my prized possession. I've had it since I was like 15. It is the most important thing in my entire life is this Robocop poster. It's so beautifully lit and framed. It's so cool. It's such a cool poster. Oh, My I one also, of those is a Gorilla's Plastic Beach album poster. That's that's not impressive. 
I think music posters are lame. I think movie posters are... Uh, now, I, I know you're going to tell me I'm wrong. You would think that because you own a movie poster, not a music that's, poster. That's true, yeah. No, you and also, your taste true. in music is dog shit. You'd never <gasps> know an artist that had Dude, a good music poster. I literally have a... Ma Wait, you bitch. I literally... Lit I remember. You were... you were. I was playing video games with you. I was playing Rust with you. And every five minutes, you're like, boys are liar. Boys are liar. Literally, it's so stuck in your fucking head. Yeah, that Louis is Thru number sang one on my podcast. Playlist. Wait, did he really? Yeah, but the way the where I know it from is Louis Theroux singing it on his little podcast. I want you to be, I want you to because he goes that, that boy's a liar. I want you to know that it's it so like much that. it's so much less cool that your access to music is through Louis Theroux and not through like actual just music. pop. Like I win this, I win this. Is sent in that time. There's one last point on this. Her purity was probably also the highest of the lot because she mentioned she lives in an all female apartment at the university. Uh, and it's highest purity. UK, yeah, know we right. That women who pick all female yeah. accommodation are as pure as it gets. These are women who. Why did this man How? censor Why? her name? Why did he censor her name on Tinder and then put her name in the top right? What? Weird. What a fucking so weirdo. So strange. He's doxing everyone. This is crazy. I really like this guy because he truly has no qualms about doxing people. It's actually, so you get all of the juicy, insane shit. He's so, he's so like unaware that he just, he goes all in. God, I'm so happy I got a burger. I feel, I feel like a new man, dude. It's crazy. Why do you ever let me start stream without eating? Why do you let me do it, Wiz? Why? Because uh, you're pathetic. <laughs> you don't go out drinking, don't go out partying. They essentially just sit home and read their book all day. As for the, for the next one, do you know this was another Absolutely Asian girl. No this one was ex another no, Asian. I don't think he's that clever. <laughs> he's pretty still that smart. Um, yeah, look, top right. You need Glasgow. Wait, top right, three letters. The red circle clearly covering three letters, right? Like yeah. it's def it's the same. Why? Why? Why did you bother, dude? Whatever. Um, let's have a look here. Uh oh, god, he's using the crying laugh. Twenty three messages. This motherfucker. This motherfucker says, "Don't jester Max," and then he uses this fucking emoji. What a freak! <laughs> what an animal! <laughs> <laughs> that that's the only way you can read that emo emoji. <laughs> god, I fucking hate this guy. Don't worry, I'm gonna find it. Use that business and finance brain. Yeah, exactly. You found it. I just Google it. I think I know. Haha, <laughs> sweet. See you Monday, 2 p.m. Looking forward to it. Perfect. This is the least egregious 2 PM. one. 2pm. 2pm. It's insane. PM. But this is the least egregious one. Like, at least he's referring to He's just to meeting these girls for, like, high fives and walking back to his apartment. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. nothing going he on doesn't, there. He doesn't even stop walking. He high fives them and then just keeps walking past. Extremely easy once more. Only took 127 minutes to arrange and 23 messages. You can see the proof How of many of these people here. did he fuck? I need to know. Number five. Zero. Etsu. This one again was the last Asian girl that I got. Her purity was quite high. You can tell she's just wearing normal clothes. Just looks like a normal looking girl. What? Five out of ten in SMV. Hiking pictures are high purity. He is right. Unfortunately, it's true. It's true. The hiking. All these girls the hiking, are Asian, dude. The hiking. The hiking. Oh, really, dude? This is. It's crazy how obvious it becomes that you're literally just selecting and filtering for coercibility when half your fucking successes are people who come from cultures that oh my require God. high compliance. There's more coding. So see the way the little tick is? Usually there's a flame icon, but only if they're 7 out of 10 or higher. Oh my God! Right, so it's not... Uh, right, because they're not hot. Oh my fucking God, dude. This is insane. Yep. Okay. Imagine finding this phone. Yeah, this man. How would you this explain man, this? You you'll rate it. it the, I hope the police. I hope the. I hope we get the logs from the deposition that this guy's going to go through for the serial. He had a whole coding man. He put a skull next to the woman he murdered after he met them. <laughs> you, have to, you, have, <laughs> you have like a whiteboard. You have a whiteboard. You have to start. You have to use his graphs to 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 prove that he's associated with each murder. You start like pinpointing the data. It's like only. It's like a movie where they they bring in like a maths professor and they're like, "This is one mathematical equation we can't crack. We need an expert." They go to like the academics and they have to like try and figure out, triangulate where the next murder is gonna happen. Oh man, yeah. it's so good. It's for science. Wheat Waffles is unironically doing God's work. I will say, yeah. this man, this man is collecting a genuine data set that we can exploit for our benefit in an incredibly unethical way. But he's just squandering the opportunity so terribly. His analysis is so horrible. V took two days and twenty-eight messages. <laughs> oh, Number six. This was Faye. Once more, you can see with the compliment on the first message. If a woman sends you a compliment, it's going to be very easy. She said that I'm very handsome in my photos. 
Uh, her purity was a medium because, as you can see, she's got like a she got a tattoo. Wiz, yep. I need you to not. I I, I need you tattoo. to not lie. Oh my god, the tattoo makes her mid. I need you to not lie. Yep. Okay, Wiz. All right, uh -huh. are you gonna be honest with me? Yep. What's your percentage of women who compliment you in the first message on your appearance? Um. Well, I open with a like a compliment, so I always usually get a compliment back. I, I, I usually get a compliment, but it's not always that I'm hot. Um, well, I always do like something like, oh, you're really cute. And then I always get like a, you're really cute too, or something like that, you know? My openings but it's are not a like more... a, oh my God, you look unbelievable. My, my, my openings are a bit more elaborate than yours, but I have started saying you look really cute as part of them. And yeah, it's a winner. Does, it if Hideker was here, if Hideker was here, I'd put him on to my opener and he gets a lot of success with it. Wait, really? He's not here. Yeah. He uses my tactics. I'm his dating coach. Um, I don't use your tactics. I, I, I go for I go for the Jester Max. I go for the elaborate opener. I have I have had Yeah, you put too much effort in. You no, 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 no. In. No, you're wrong, you're wrong. You gotta you gotta filter for quality, okay? I've had I've had many women <laughs> many women are saying this. I've had many women With low say, effort you can filter with quality. Shut up and listen. I've had it's not about listen. I said quality I meant general quality, right? Like having sex with a girl who's great at sex and you're terrible at sex. You're not making art. You're exploiting art. You've got to you've got to put an effort on your side as well. Otherwise, it's not like a, you're not building a grand cathedral of baseness. All right. I put in the fucking effort. I make this shit good. All right. I I have been told by many women, many. Uh, uh, many women. DJ saying, Addy, uh, Smug looks like Destiny and I look like President Sunday. I do not look like Destiny. Shut the fuck up. Why would you ever tell me Would you rather look like President Sunday? Yes, honestly. I, I could do more work. <laughs> I, can, I, can niche, I can niche Max from the President Sunday. If you President, put me in the pres president's mine. The president's if mine, me, dude. If you put me in President Sunday's body, I will niche Max him to the top 1% of t Tinder. Guaranteed. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. Quantum leap me straight into President Sunday. I will get all of the pussy. Women are yeah, if I was Destiny, yeah. step number one, shave my head, growing out a mustache. True! He doesn't myself. Need to Oh, I, I don't know. I like his... Sometimes his hair... Look, here's the thing. He's got There's such nothing a, wrong with his hair. I just think he'd go hard if he had a shaved head and he's a mustache. Got, nah, he's got, such a, he's got such a coin flip on his hair looking good or terrible. Like, there's no in-between. It's always like... It That's always why we looks, remove it. That's why we remove I, it. I think... I think remove Destiny, from the equation. No. Consistent no, look. Mustache, think, bald head. No. No, I think Destiny needs to... And then when people his, can, like, call him a Nazi, Destiny he needs can to, do, like, a tough guy thing. Destiny he needs, needs to look to, more tough guy. No, Destiny needs to wash his hair every day. He needs to actually... He needs to start washing his yeah, fucking hair Yeah, it's also good advice. Day, Honestly, <laughs> I'm, I'm, good I'm amazed. I, it's so obvious that he doesn't. I need him to wash his hair every day. His hair is beautiful when he washes it. When it's clean, it looks lovely, but it's just... Oh, he's You know what? He's going through a divorce. I, I, can, I, can, I can cut him some slack. It's fine. I don't know if I would. President, the president well, needs doesn't need to change anything. He's doing good. President's perfect. No, no notes. No notes. No notes. The tattoo. You know, no no notes. Women are just intrigued by the novelty of a tattoo. Like, you have no idea how true that is. You would you would not believe the number of DMs I've had over the last couple of years, uh, ba just based on being a cat bug or a fucking snake. It's insane, dude. It's actually fucking <laughs> crazy. I don't know what is wrong with the women in this space. I think they just want to be like domestically abused by a cute cartoon character. Is all I can understand. I, I truly don't understand women anymore. It's insane. It's crazy. Whoa. Bemsel! Shut up! <laughs> not you too! I get your DMs way too often! When are you going to cover this? When are you going to cover that? You should look at this. <laughs> Whoa. Doesn't count. It's all the fantasy. It's just the fantasy. Jesus Christ. Oh, Femcell Raiders. Hey, Femcell. Hey, how's it going? Let's go. Let's go. Uh, I, I take it back. Lovely to see you. <laughs> oh, God. How you doing? Oh, you raided with eight people this minute. That's crazy. That's Whoa, crazy. You you're guys, growing in size. You guys, you guys should hop on YouTube and like the stream. And you should also give me money. Thank you. Oh yeah, yeah subscribe on YouTube if you guys haven't already. We're on the road to yeah. 500. Once we hit 500, no! we can do things Fuck. with money. Bro, the number of times that I fucking dropped stuff during this, this, I'm trying to eat and stream it. It doesn't work. Don't eat and stream, guys. Okay, it's bad. It's bad vibes. All right. Get hire someone to eat for you while you're streaming. That's how you. I okay. Oh, I, I'm not gonna talk about the millionaire guy. I need to talk about the millionaire guy at some point. Wiz. it's gonna happen. It's gonna break through. Up. This is my latest obsession. All right, I'll talk about it later.
not relationship well, material. Well, she was reasonably compliant. It only took 30 messages to send, but it took three days, you know, which shows a significant we time. We brought her under message. compliance Number in seven, just three days. Nice. Once more again with a compliment. Uh... <laughs> Destiny's only attraction is his bank account. He looks like a meth addict, has the opinions of the tr <laughs> 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 don't don't talk about destiny when he's eating, dude. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Nobody's eating. Nobody's uh, eating. Uh, just imagine himself as uh, 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 as destiny. <laughs> uh, 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 dude, he's vomited uh, all over the streaming ring. Uh, 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 I'm crying. Uh, all I'm over the streaming rig, dude. Uh, uh, if the stream uh, crashes, it's because there's bits of bomb in the GPU. <laughs> I'm crying. Why did you just run in naked? What's going on? Okay. I, she was so concerned that she ran in naked. I'm fucking dying. I choked on a chip, if you must know, babe, okay? He dropped the chips Sorry. into his own mouth. Oh god, I, oh, I'm okay, sorry. I love you, sorry. Oh, this is, this is rough. Fucking hell. Oh! <coughs> We're doing good. We're doing good. Oh. Classic stream, no. classic stream I just, moment. I just ate one chip and I nearly died. Classic stream moment. <coughs> oh, god. People will say it was scripted. People will say Please. we scripted this. Wait, I need you to take over for a second. People will say we scripted this. That was all down. actually a scripted moment. We had uh, a, an inside uh, conversation where we said, uh, around uh, the two hour mark, uh, I want you to signal uh, that uh, you're having a good time. And when that uh, happens, choke on something uh, nearby. I don't care what it is, a pencil, a coin, a try and swallow it live on he stream. He sent me a DM. I stabbed the pencil <laughs> into my throat. He sent me a DM. Yeah, he I was like, do it. Swallow the coin. Swallow me. the bag of coins. He told me to do it for God. I arranged Ladybug to, to run in naked to also startle you at the same time. Uh, I messaged her. I yeah. said, go, 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 go. She's actually live streaming on, on one of those sex channels right now. Um, so yeah, I just, I just it's revenue the streams. Real, we have to keep the show running stream. some way. Got, Speaking of, feel Please free to uh, like, subscribe, Please keep the stream going, so uh, <gasps> Ladybug doesn't have to <gasps> stream naked anymore. Oh, thank you. Yes. Okay, I think I'm back. You back, dude? Oh my god, that was so rough. I, really I sprinkled a little so salt into his burger. He had that no was, idea. <laughs> grackle, grackle, grackle nearly killed me. Honestly. Yeah. Holy fuck! I got, I've no, no one, no one in the history of Grack has ever been Gracked that hard. I think I just got the most Whoa. Gracked. Oh my god! I had a Grack attack. Jesus Christ! Oh god! What's Ladybug's username? Ladybug. <coughs> okay, I'm good. Let's go. <laughs> I'm back, baby. And you said, "Hey, remember, re Wiz? Remember when you said I have to eat?" Yeah, this was you. Yeah, this was all you. Part yeah, the I'm the one plan. that put the salt in your you chips. You freak! No! No! Hey, hey, Wiz, hey, guess what? I've got something new for you. Do you want to see? What you got for me, dude? What am I supposed to be looking at, dude? Get it. Whoa. 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 If I wasn't wearing my reinforced helmet. This keeps me safe, dude. You can't touch me. I'll sprinkle salt on you, dude. Get back. 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 I'm broadcasting an anti snail frequency. Yeah, that's what I thought, dude. That was terrible. I don't know what got into me. I'm sorry. My hat! No! Wait, I left my hat behind. Fuck! Fuck! Shit! Shit! I'm bald! No! Ah, that's disgusting. Oh, that was That's close. disgusting. More disgusting than the snail. It's got teeth. It's truly horrifying. <laughs> I love. I love this. I, we we have a, we have a snail with teeth. This is for when I'm angry. Whoa. This is my new. This is my new. This is uh, my new snail, Max Avi. This is what I posted on my Tinder. Look at the horrible teeth. It's great. Good job, Oscar. Thank you. It's truly. It's unhinged in more ways than one. Blah. It's awful. Blah. All right. Disgusting. Truly, truly awful. 
What the fuck did I walk in on? Yep. Yeah. Hey, Pinker, how's it going? I like I like how we have just like one extremely normie pilled uh, like Ancap who rolls by once in a while, and he just sees this like insane snail with teeth. Like ah ah, get back! I will fuck you up. What are you talking nice about? Try. Nice try. nice try. Nice try. Is extremely high compared to the women that don't do that. Anyway, those are the nine dates. And hey, Pink, for the final go? part of the video, I'm going to give my verdicts of what I thought about this entire experiment. I've compiled all of the <laughs> okay. nine dates here, be compliant, Wait, invested. Wanna... Okay, hold on, hold on. <coughs> Let's have a look. So, six out of ten, high purity. Again, why? What makes them a high purity? Is it the long term partner? It must be the long term partner. And she's blonde and she's got blue eyes. She likes, yeah, true, Aryan princess, that's that's the real purity. Did ...and willing to see you go on a date with you is extremely high compared to the women that don't do that. Oh. Anyway, those are the nine dates, and for the final part of the video, I'm going to give oh, my verdicts go. of what I thought about this entire experiment. I've combined... What the fuck? I, I need to know what this I'm guy thinks there. of 10 out... I need to know... I, I, oh, the compliance... It's so gross. Compliance dude. rating. Oh my god, <gasps> three out of ten on Hazel. Hazel's breaking out the matrix, dude. You know what's You know what's funny? He didn't show the text from Hazel. I bet she fucking, like, blasted She rinsed him proper, she man. She fucking She was, like, making fun of him. Well, she was probably being, like, here. cheeky, being like, oh, hi. Yeah. But you say that to all the girls. Did you copy and paste that message? Ha ha ha. He's like, <laughs> shut up. Shut up. Yeah. You can't comply to me. You fucking bitch. Yeah. You would be, you would be, you would be hotter if you were more compliant. <laughs> Submit to me. <laughs> I don't like how there's a compliance column in the summary, but he doesn't have those numbers on screen before. I mean, well, he did have the numbers. <laughs> we're, we're missing. We're yeah, missing Cheeto is the big reveal. It's, it's the, the big, big reveal. reveal. This is compliance maxing, and all the Asians high compliance. There it is. There's the proof. This is the cultural Verdict. survey. Is it worth it as an average guy? Oh my god! And he. Oh, yeah, so you can compare. You know who the best option potentially would have been. Whatever. You know, I didn't see any of these girls. Uh, but I've just you know I showing didn't see you any of what these potential girls. results you can get as an average. What? He said I didn't see any of these girls. He didn't even try and actually meet. He ghosted all of them. He ghosted what? all of them. I didn't Wait, see any of these girls. Wait, he never met them. Oh, he what? never. He never even tried. I didn't see these girls. What the fuck? Why is he doing this? Why? Why? Smug, smug, smug bug. Okay, okay, okay. He's smug so bug. gay. Bottom right of his room. Are those heels? Wait. Oh my god. See what I'm looking at? He's. He, uh, you know what? He's a looks maxer. These are probably. He probably does have heels, and and they, he would he would defend them because looks maxers talk about height mogging guys constantly. He's probably. He's probably no, like. I think they're as in like females high. No, high heel no, shoes. that's that's male. Fe uh, that's male heels. That looks like a boot to me. That looks like a male. Like it looks like a cope boot. You know. He's probably like 5'10", and he thinks he needs to be 6'1", to pull girls. That's probably a three-inch heel on a man boot, for real. I've seen those before. <laughs> Cheetos yeah. realized that they're synonyms <clears throat> because they start with the letters A through to I. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Or maybe he just put them in alphabetical order. Hmm? Did you consider that? That's also potentially true. <laughs> no, Cheeto might be right. Why would he still give? Why would he still give the Asian girls Asian names? Yeah, that's yeah. This is that's too. Is he just a bit racist? So much, why would he put so Raci much effort? Racist pseudonyms. Why would he put so much effort? A man can't love stilettos, but stilettos can love a man. Oh my god. Average guy on a dating app, and given this, I think this is what begs the question: Is it worth it as an average guy if you get photos? I kind of is wait, Tinder. If this guy came out as gay, I would subscribe to him. If he came out as gay and then continued doing the content exactly the same way, I would actually fully endorse it. It would be kind of yeah. I'd, I'd probably watch everyone. He would basically be the new James Somerton, someone who. Tears could you down, imagine? Like, could you imagine a YouTube channel of like? A, a YouTube channel concept, which is like a gay guy trying to go on dates with women and convince that, them that he's straight. That would be quite funny, actually. I would watch that. Like, That's he adapts show. strategies and tries to genuinely... It'd be so unethical, but it'd be very, very gay funny. Gay for pay. Yeah. Or any dating app. <laughs> a good avenue. Straight for avenue pay. that you can use as an average guy with good photos oh, yeah. to source dates, get women involved in your life, potentially even a relationship. And to answer that question... This is not just to my surprise, but to all of you watching surprise. I've actually proved myself wrong on this. I think the data speaks for itself. The uh -huh. answer is undeniably yes. The data shows that this is true. If you disagree with me on this point, you're what? only disagreeing with the data and what I have proved in this video. That Wait, but he, oh, but he, right. Yeah, but he never saw them. So how can you, you, you cat, hold on. You catfished with a, <laughs> with a face tuned photo and then a girl said yes. And then you never saw her in real life. Do you not expect that she's going to be kind of put off you. by the fact that you're wearing three inch heels and your face has completely changed shape? Is no one going to notice? You think they're just going to... Like, what? 
Ah! I wanted to what? see him do like his grinder premium worth grinder, it as yeah. an average guy. <laughs> Dude, grinder, you know grinder's a shit show. Why would you even? And the answer's no like, study. yes. No I actually got more messages than possible. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> my phone broke. Dude, I'm laughing. I'm laughing too hard. People find tree. me in real life. I heard you open that piss drink, motherfucker. I heard it. I heard it. No, I already Snap. drank the piss drink. I already drank okay. it. If you're an average guy, Dude, I, I feel like right I have a heart attack. Stop edit. Stop taking energy drinks before stream. Why are you doing this? It makes the content wanna, better, but you're Chris gonna is, die at thirty. Chris is, knows the meta, dude. Oh my god! <laughs> stop. I want you. the turf. I need if you. If you did that, we'd be unstoppable. Wiz, I do have a coffee. Wiz, I need you. I need you to not take any advice from Chris about anything. I beg you, please. <laughs> I'm begging you. Okay. Whatever he's doing, I'm sure it works for his life, but do not emulate anything. Alright? Okay? That man would beat he's a bitch money, over Bionicles. Alright? He would beat a bitch <laughs> over Bionicles. Alright? This is not- this is not a guy- You're gonna- if you follow Chris, you're getting second order advice from Destiny. That's what's happening. You're- you're human centipeding <laughs> Destiny takes through a fucking VTuber anime weeb. Alright? We love him very much, but that's your life. Alright? Just reconsider. <laughs> the right looks, the right angles, stream. you absolutely stream. can get good results, dates, potentially even a relationship at the end of it, once you go out with all of them. Like, nine dates in seven days is no slouch. And these you aren't unattractive girls. The these are for the most part average, any dates. You got with zero some dates. average girls in between. And based on the surface of it, in terms of purity, they all could potentially be... You actively neg him on every stream, you're doing God's work, Lottie. Keep it up. Decent in terms of relationship uh, potential as well. Most of them are higher to very high purity. He didn't so go on any of these dates to shows because if you get nine gay. dates. Obviously, yeah, it's not guaranteed, but I think there'll be at least the one, two, three, to the potentially woman. even four that could end up being relationship material if you uh, end up actually going on a date with them, seeing how far you go. So oh, that's the conclusion that I've reached. You're more than welcome to disagree with me on it. I know I changed my mind on it, but I'll just repeat one more time. The data speaks for itself, and I don't think I can disagree <laughs> with the data on this conclusion. The data but has no conclusions drawn from it, because you didn't finish the, the that data. That getting good photos can you didn't make Tinder a viable option, and all the other dating apps a viable option. All this all this work and not a single rape? This data guy's incomplete. The worst, this guy's the worst rapist in the world. He's had a terrible job. He had nine I don't know how many drinks victims. you had to buy. Where did yeah, you go? Exactly. How much you had to spend on the date, whether they paid. All he was looking for was um, girls just saying yes. That was Basically. his only requirement, and he still failed <clears throat> that. He only got yeah. nine girls to say yes to him, which isn't even mm. going on a date, dude. So one, one yes thing, to the idea mm -hmm. of going on a date. So I, I, I'll say, just related to this, one thing that's nice about being poly is that everyone talks about the dating they're doing. Like, in, I feel like in, like, I, I don't know, monogamoid um, dates, people are a bit iffy. You know if you had, like, friends, you wouldn't need to get out on dates? I have friends! What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> it's just that they're all fucking married normies, dude, alright? My, my, all the, listen, I have two groups of friends. I have normies who are married, and I have cluster B insane schizos, all of whom have catastrophically chaotic r relationships, and there's just, there's no evidence or useful information you can get from them, okay? So yes, I have to get my data set from people I date. Now, when you're talking to girls about things that happen, you know an interesting trend that I've come across recently is that I've had a lot of girls complain that they'll talk to a bunch of guys and then they'll confirm a date with the guys and then just like this guy, they'll ghost. The guy will disappear. Yep. They'll have done yep. all of this work and then and the dude is basically has to, and she's like, I was going to fuck him. Like, I made it quite clear, right? And the dude doesn't show up. You already got his satisfaction, dude. That's it. It's crazy. We're so used to this frictionless dopamine hit from the phone that the guy doesn't even want the sex. He just wants the validation. So as soon as he knows that, and you know the worst part is, I feel that. A girl will say, like, they want to hang out or hook up or whatever, and I swear to God, I will get, like, the opposite dopamine hit. I'll be like, oh, oh, I won. I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah. yeah. Oh, now I have to, now I have to go do the thing I was apparently fighting. Well, that's because you're ADHD and you have a thing True. against, like, people telling you what to do. It's like, if yeah. someone goes, like, wash the plate, <laughs> you're like, you're like, I don't want to wash me. them anymore. I'm like, I don't have to do what you want me to do. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to do the opposite. You can't make me do anything. <laughs> yeah, no thanks, dude. But it's crazy. I was down until the moment you said. Yeah, this was this this yeah exactly. I wanna I wanna fight for it up until the last minute. All right, I want it to be a battle. I want it to be a fucking violent war where only at the final <laughs> okay. hurdle, after you've given me shit all night, four thousand shit tests, you suddenly go, yeah, okay, we can uh -oh. fuck. That's it. That's all I want. 
All right, I want the I want the I want the fast turnaround. That's the that's the only play. Violent, I'm looking at you. Whoa. Oh god, this this guy's yeah. a fucking. I'm pleased option. I am pleased to announce for the very first time on this channel's history, we have a sponsor. So this is Justin, and part of the reason oh, no! he made this video is because he reached out to me, and uh -oh. he is a pro Miami based. Tinder oh photographer, so his specialty this is literally is so in Tinder. Oh my god, that's what the sponsor is? The guy that took your fucking photos? Dude, the amount of money, think about how much money men he, spend he, Whoa, whoa, how could Tinder. he have had this as a photographer the guy lives in Florida? He did, this is not his photographer, he's, he, he, this is a, a, just a totally separate shill. It's completely unrelated to his own thing. The, uh, these three photos are not all done by the same guy. Uh, uh, they might be. Even the second two, no, two totally different camera, totally different lens. That's, no, they're both be, stock images. Well, both stock, stock images, dude. My, ge my guess Those is are point. stock images. Are you sure? Hmm. Is getting Absolutely, up to speed, increasing convinced. their results, specifically for Tinder. And you can oh, see God. that these aren't- These are terrible. Oh, before, after? Well, neither of them are very good. This so fake- So Keir Starmer to Keir Starmer. Fake, fake candid is the most disgusting, unattractive thing you could possibly do. What yeah, is this? True. Who is he smiling at? He's sitting alone on a bench. What scenario is he in? This is horrific. Don't stage your photos like this. This is insane. <laughs> y here's what you're allowed to do, okay? All right? Big you pizza. Are... Big pizza. No big pizza in the photo. No big pizza. Yeah, sure. No big pizza. Change your shirt. Before. No big pizza. No empty glass of water that you finished before eating Jesus one Christ. slice of your pizza because you didn't pace yourself oh properly. You're in a restaurant. There's an order of operations. If you drink your whole drink before your meal comes, you can be thirsty as hell. Especially when you've ordered a fucking, what is that, 16, 18 inch pizza? Are you crazy, Keir Starmer? No... How have you drank all that first? I have no... I, I don't know what he's saying. I've completely lost The top 5% looks, guys. There. These are, for the most part, average guys. But with the right angles, lighting, fashion, and picture quality, he can get guys, average guys, into the top 10%. And that's why I thought that he would be uh, a perfect fit for this video, Justin, with the service that he <sighs> offers. You can tell just by looking. These aren't top 10% giga chats. These are average guys who have really good yeah, photos. Yeah, Photoshop is fucked, dude. Oh, look, it's... Oh, 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 friend of the stream playing with fire. Hey, it's our boy. <laughs> it's our boy. Look at this. Whoa. He did. He did play with fire. Oh, Florida. This guy is for the Miami pickup scene. That's Whoa. why he's based here. It's playing with fire. Let's go. Hey, buddy. How you doing? That guy on the right is so photoshopped. He looks like his head's made of plastic. It's crazy, dude.